subsidise the cost in, in, in that kind of thing, do you not know? I'm like, I just don't... I'm, I'm not convinced that makes a great deal of sense as an operating model for a club. No, it doesn't. Uh, there are some clubs... Like, and I get that you don't have many alternatives, right? Like, what are you going to do? Just sit there, roll out the same players every week and say, oh, well, that's our lot. So, I, in a way, you have to admire them for trying, but it, it just... Yeah, I don't think it's ever led to much good. No, it, it, it's a difficult one for, for the club. I mean, they've been down for quite some time. They've, uh, they've found it hard to string wins together. They've found it hard to, uh, to get players to come to the club in recent years. And uh, <clears throat> I suppose something different. But as, as John said, if that's right, if that's, uh, that's what's happened, I was going to say, why is the reason that they now haven't got players when at the start of the year they were going to have two sides comfortably. Um, you know, it's a domino effect. One or two go and somebody else will say, well, we're going. And, uh, you know, how does the club stop it? Because in this day and age, unless there's uh, a real good reason, it's very difficult for a club to hold a clearance back. Especially when there's nine clubs within half an hour of the joint. But uh, there's no shortage of options to uh, to go to. If you, you did want to leave Maryborough, there, uh, there's plenty plenty for you to go and look at. That is uh, that is for sure. We're here at Tannery Lane today, casting our eye across all things Bendigo footy before we hone in on this game, which is the Stratfield Say Storm taking on Eagle Hawk on the ladder as it stands. It is second and third. Both of these teams undefeated through the opening two rounds of the season. A break and we'll build up to the opening bounce here at Tannery Lane. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo.
Round three in Bendigo football, two of the modern day rivals in the BFNL clash at Tannery Lane this afternoon. It is Stratfield Say and Eagle Hawk, three time grand finalists last decade. These two teams met in a semi final last year. It was the Stratfield Say Storm who progressed through to the third week of finals. They were knocked out on their way through. Of course, Golden Square going on to win that grand final last season. These two teams have reloaded and they are looking to get set to go again in season 2024. Joel Peterson, John Hunter, Norm Jenkins with you. Great to have your company. Our local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo, our broadcast sponsors today. Parsons Towing, Castlemaine, Bendigo City Framers, JB Restumping, Jason Westcott Builder, and uh, also Bendigo Truck Centre. Uh, terrific sponsors this afternoon of our broadcast to make it all possible here in the, uh, the beautiful Iveco. Uh, which you can drive away if you've got a little bit of uh, spare dollarage. So you same. need a 14 lazy pallet axle truck. I've no idea what any of that means, but what I do know is it's a very comfortable thing to sit in the back of. So if that's what you want a truck for, to sit in the back of it and park it alongside the oval at the footy, then this would be the perfect machine for you. So thanks to our sponsors, Bendigo Truck Centre, for their assistance in the broadcast this afternoon. Did I, did I sell that? You did. Do you reckon I could? Do you reckon? How would I go as a truck salesman? Well, I reckon. I'm in the market well. for a Ute at the moment. Hey, but not, I don't job. quite need this level of sort of space. I'd be too scared to do anything in it. Look how clean it is. It's immaculate. So, it is. No, I love your style, and uh, yes, thanks for the support of our sponsors. Bendigo Trucks. Uh, we shouldn't overlook, we haven't been out here for a while. No? I reckon it's been several years since we were out here at Stratfield, say. Um, and, and you know, the, you guys would have been here more recently than me as well. But um, yeah, it's it's nice to be back. Uh, we've caught a couple of games here, Boundary Side. Of course, we used to call in the timekeeper's box behind us, which was about 50 metres away from the ground, which made things pretty challenging. But it's a, a, a beautiful day, that n next to no wind, not a cloud in the sky, not many clouds in the sky. Uh, and those that are there are only very faint, but uh, it's, a, it's a nice day for footy. And it's a, it is, it's a glorious venue. I went for a walk out of the middle and met the umpires short, uh, a little while ago, Joel, and it's um, quite firm, but it's not overly firm, not as hard as the QEO, so there's a little bit of a gift. I can remember last time I was calling footy here, the Sheep Wash Creek End, yep. is that right? Yes, Brian Mansbridge may have mucked that up once or twice I was and, say. and turned our broadcast <laughs> into something that wasn't necessarily safe for that time slot. Oh, I was going to say, uh, I had to concentrate when I was saying it then slowly and concentrating, so God knows what's going to come out of my mouth when it goes down there. I don't know, how, how difficult is it? It's where you wash your sheep, the Sheep Wash Creek. I don't know, we'll see how we go. Just don't say it too quickly, and uh, and we'll we'll be uh, we'll be right. We'll be absolutely... Just the creek end. Yeah, you could yeah. go. Hey, happy with the creek end, of course. The tannery laid end. You got Stratfield Say Road out on the other side. The Junior Oval behind us, and uh, of course the Stratfield Say Jets Cricket Club, uh, where some of the poorest people have come through uh, in terms of uh, junior cricket norm. Mm, yeah, just true. looking looking firmly at myself there, uh, who went on to do absolutely nothing in a cricketing sense. I thought you were a Bucks boy. No, I played no. senior cricket at Bucks, but yeah, I played no, junior yeah, cricket out here at Stratfield. Yeah. Yes. Chasing the dollar? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. a bit like you at Chusion, just trying to uh, bleed those <laughs> particular uh, organisations out of out of all their cash. Uh, Eagle Hawk 8 12 60 over the Stratfield Say Storm 3 4 22 in the reserves. Under 18's clash was an absolute pearler today, Norma. So it's the last sort of quarter and a bit of that game. Uh, Eagle Hawk getting across the line, but uh, they, they had to do it with a pretty fair fight. Yeah, they did. Uh, it was an excellent uh, four-goal last quarter by Eagle Hawk to uh, to come out on top by 16 points, and uh, it was only three late goals uh, late in the uh, late in the final quarter that uh, saw them get over the line. Strath uh, Strath got back within a couple of points, but uh, then it was uh, Eagle Hawk that, that kicked away, and they won 9-8-62 uh, to uh, 6 46 So. A good start to them. There were some very good skills on show too from uh, some of these young players from both sides. Absolutely, there was. Um, so that's uh, that's the early game today, and it's Eagle Hawk doing it pretty nicely in the reserve. They're always a good reserves team, Eagle Hawk. They've always been strong in uh, in the reserve grade. They've uh, been able to keep keep a lot of their players over the years and, and attract a lot of players back. So uh, it is uh, one of the strengths of their footy club. They've been able to to rely on for a long time that uh, their reserves have been uh, a pretty decent outfit throughout the years. So before we get stuck into this game, we might just cast our 
gaze a little bit further out to some of the district leagues. Round three out your way, where you're a life member in the MCDFNL, Norm Jenkin. The games today, Avoca and Newstead, Carisbrook and Campbell's Creek, Harcourt and Denoli. Well, that's the game of the round. That's uh, two versus three at okay. this early stage. I won't bother asking you the question at the end of these list of games then. <laughs> Lexton and Tolbert. I would have said maybe that's the game of the round. Molden and Maribor Giants. Navarre and Trentham, that could have an argument as being the game of the round. Now, Norm, is the reason that you've said Harcourt and Denoli is the only reason you think that's the game of the round, because it involves Harcourt? No, it's because of their ladder positions. Harcourt currently uh, second on the ladder with uh, two wins. Denoli uh, third with two wins. And uh, not a lot of percentage separates these two sides. And it's actually a danger game for Harcourt because Denoli have improved uh, in a big way this year. And... Uh, they uh, could well be in uh, the fight for a top four game at the end of the year, but this is a game that they must win, and uh, I think uh, they'll take it right up to Harcourt today. I was, I was hoping he wouldn't have as good a reason as that. That's a bad. <laughs> he, well, he's got it all in his back pocket. I'll uh, also ask you another question, Norm. Feels like a lifetime ago we were out at uh, Maryborough and we had a look at the first game between the Giants and Talbot. We're now, what, a couple of rounds in, three rounds in? Three rounds in, yes. So How's it? How are the Giants uh, situated? What, what's the initial, now the honeymoon's over after a week or two, we've given them a little bit of a spell. How are they looking? Uh, well, they uh, faced their first tough opposition last week. They had the trip to Trentham and uh, they went down uh, by around about 12 goals. It was 23-7 to 10-9, uh, but they were competitive. And so long as they're competitive in games this year, they will win matches when it when it comes down to it. And uh, you know they were very unfortunate in that uh, game at Hedges Oval. We broadcast uh, round one, which of course they had uh, the week before the season opened uh, in its uh, in its full. And uh, it was a very good game where they went down by one point to Talbot. So. They've been competitive in both matches this year. To get 10 goals against Trentham down there is uh, there's no mean effort. Uh, a lot of the more senior sides, um, your Natty Bialibas, your Navars, your Harcourts, your Carisbrooks, have struggled to do that over the last four or five years when they've travelled down there. So uh, they'll be competitive. They'll win their games and uh, they've got plenty to build on uh, because it's... It's not just a, uh, a one-season situation for them. It's a chance to build as the season goes on and as the years go on. In the Lodden Valley League today, Bridgewater and Inglewood, a couple of the, uh, the local rivals out there in that competition do battle at Bridgewater. You've got Bears Lagoon, Serpentine and Newbridge, that game up at Surf. Midiamo and Maiden Gully YCW, that game is at Midi. And the headline act is Morong and Pyramid Hill, the grand final replay from last year. And we get an early sense of whether anyone's caught up to that uh, Mighty Panthers team. Norm. And, and that Mighty Panthers team's had a big turnover over the summer period and they're still able to uh, defeat oppositions <coughs> by as much as they did last year. I mean... I look at it and you wonder how much Bridgewater's caught up because Bridgewater almost went down to Newbridge in uh, round one. It was only a late flurry that got them over the line. And uh, Morong played Newbridge uh, last week and uh, defeated them uh, by 23 goals, 24 goals. So uh, it'll be interesting today to see whether Pyramid Hill has bridged the gap a little bit or uh, whether it's going to be Morong that roll on for their third premiership in three years. I've got uh, certainly got some goal kicking, some firepower up there in uh, at Pyramid Hill this season, and one of our favourites, Ed Cabernet, still rolling around for uh, for Pyramid Hill. He just continues to get better with age. Johnny does uh, does Ed Cabernet uh, just aging beautifully? Is uh, that young man in the HDFNL this afternoon? North Bendigo to uh, well, of course in the game that they kicked 26 goals, 21 goals, two in last year to defeat Heathcote. They were the only team to go out to. Barrick Reserve and knock the Saints off. They get the return trip out there today to the Bulldogs. Uh, White Hills and Colburn Navin do battle. That's been a, a really good game, a really good fixture in, in recent seasons. Huntley and Lockington Bermorm out at Strosh Reserve. And Lichfield Gunbauer and Elmore round out the round in the HDFL. Okay, yeah, so we'll find out uh, how far <coughs> off the pace Colburn Navin are uh, this year because White Hills have had a, a blistering start to the season. Uh, 
three wins from, from three games and as you say, the game of the round would certainly be Heathcote North Bendigo where it is uh, second versus third on the ladder and uh, North Bendigo two wins, Heathcote three wins up to this stage. Absolutely. Interesting in the, in the HDFL last week, of course, all those results, absolute blowouts. So the closest of the four games last week in the HDFL, 89 points. Hopefully we get a, something a little bit more competitive than that today. And, and a league that we know always delivers close games is uh, is the North Central Footy League, Normie. Uh, St Arnold have got a few interesting names running around today. Josh Caddy, Will Chambers, the ex-Melbourne Storm, right, yeah. going around for St Arnold this afternoon. They've got a bit of a function on up there. Uh, who else is playing in the in the North Central League today? Uh, Donald uh, will host Nullawall and... Uh, Donald have got one win for the year. Nullarbor yet to yet to break their ice. Uh, they they've only had the one match and uh, they went down to Birchip watch them in round. Uh, no, they, yeah, went down to Birchip watch them in round one. Uh, Charlton will uh, host Wedderburn. Uh, a chance for uh, Charlton to uh, to get off the mark. Uh, Wedderburn sitting third on the ladder, so we'll be looking to uh, to uh, increase their position there. And uh, Sea Lake Nan Daly in the game of the round will be up against Witchy Proof Narraport, who have started the season reasonably well in the uh, North Central this year. Of course, uh, a bit of change on the horizon for a couple of the clubs in uh, in that competition with uh, with Witchy and. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they track throughout the course of the year. One thing you can guarantee, though, is that you never get four blowouts in. You never get a weekend of blowouts in the North Central Footy League. One game is always just about single digits. Yep, no, that's true, but uh, it wasn't quite that low. Well, it was almost last week because it was 16 points, Sulak Nandaly over that'll Wedderburn. Do. That'll do, Normie. I'll, I'll take that. That's uh, that's close enough. What's the close game today in the North Central if you had to throw, throw a dart at the wall? Oh, if you had to throw a dart at the wall... Maybe C. Lack Daly, which he proved in our report, could be the close one. I think Donald Nullarbor could be a could be a reasonable game. Well, Donald will have to bounce back after last week. I mean, Birchett Watch and beat them by uh, some 12 goals, so it was 4-4-28. Uh, Birchett Watch and 15-12-102. Oh, so we just haven't bounced out of the blocks up at up at Donald. You never, you never well, you know. never know at Duck Park. That's right. Could be a uh, could be a quacking day for it up there at, at Duck Park. Final score here in the reserves. <laughs> it's been 60 down. I'm ashamed of myself for that. Uh. It's 3 6 24 the Stratfield State Storm. So it's a 43 point win to Eagle Hawk. In the reserves, the senior teams aren't too far away from making their way out onto Tannery Lane. Glorious sunshine here. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Uh, wherever you are, wherever you're listening, whether it's in Central Victoria on 101.5, you might be listening on the uh, the live stream through the Bendigo Footy, Le Footy Netball League's Facebook page. Good afternoon to you if you are, or uh, of course you'll uh, be listening wherever you are on the Community Plus Radio app or tune in right around the world. Thanks for uh, for joining us this afternoon as Stratfield say take on Eagle Hawk. Here, our umpires are Andrew Snell and Scott Bennett. They're the two men you went out to meet earlier on. Yes, sir. Was that an arranged meeting or just a, a sort of an impromptu catch up? No, just a, I see them out there and uh, when they're out there just checking out the, the centre. And, uh, and they didn't run the other out. way? No, and uh, unfortunately I didn't recognise Andrew Snell. He said, I said to him, who was umpiring? He said, Scotty Bennett and I. And then he, looked, <laughs> he looked at me and I said, Excuse my ignorance, but who are you? <laughs> and uh, I haven't seen him umpire a number of games already, but anyway, of course, his brother umpires as well, Mark Snell. Yes, yep. But um, apologies to Andrew if you're listening back to this later on. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> and then he said, who are you to me? So I guess yes. uh, we're even. Yeah, fair enough. That's, uh, that's a nice bit of work from, uh, from Andrew Snell. The Eagle Hawk team are out there at the moment. Clayton Holmes is out there for that. Hawks side, Clayton Holmes and Mitch Ronchieri. The only two changes from the team that beat Golden Square a couple of weeks ago, Jack Thompson and Cam McGlashan, come out of the team for Eagle Hawk. Luke Marchese, Charles Dole come in for Stratfield side. We lose Jack Charles, or Zach Charles, I should say, and Caleb Sheehan from the team that beat Golden Square last week. A Golden Square team, Norm, that kicked five goals 19 and zero goals 13 in the second half. I don't think they'll be getting that kind of luck in front of the sticks today in the Storm defence. No, you would think that uh, the Storm defence will have to be at their best today because when you look at uh, the forward line, uh, Richards, Islesley, Neves when he's resting, uh, O'Shaughnessy, I like the way Sam goes about his game. Uh, he's a very lively young player and uh, 
He's got a lovely leap on him, but he's also very good at ground level. So pressure's going to be on the uh, the likes of uh, Shannon Geary, uh, Ben Lester down the back, along with uh, Jackson uh, Lay, uh, to see how uh, how they can uh, hold the uh, Eagle Hawk forward line. Absolutely. Uh, I reckon Charles Dole is out there in number 24, just for those who are playing along at home. So he was the one player from Strathfield, say, who, uh, who wasn't listed uh, with a number on the sheets. And it uh, looks like he is out there in number 24 for this afternoon. Eagle Hawk warming up at the uh, the creek end of the ground here at Tannery Lane. Johnny in Strathfield say up at the Tannery Lane end. Are these two sides playing for sort of that third seed in your mind, Norm, as we, as we look across the season as a whole? You've got Sandhurst and Gisborne who seem to be everyone's favourites to sort of lead the way this year. Uh, where have you got um, where have you got these two teams in that in that pecking order? Well, uh, before the season started, not knowing uh, what Strath had picked up and, and how they were going to uh, form together uh, under new coach Luke Fremantle, uh, I sort of had uh, Eagle Hawk in that third spot. But yeah, Storm today, I think they're up to uh, challenge Eagle Hawk to see whether they can uh, gain that position of uh, third on the ladder because. As you say, it looks like uh, Sandhurst and Gisborne are going to be the, the top two and uh, very hard to separate the two of them. I mean, last week uh, Sandhurst got the job done, but when you looked at it, it was the same amount of scoring shots from both sides. Uh, Sandhurst had had a run the week before, whereas uh, Gisborne were uh, first up and uh, it's always difficult first up and we'll have to just see how Gisborne go in the coming weeks and... Uh, how Sandhurst goes after the bye this week. What would you want to see if you were Trav Matheson today for Eagle Hawk compared to what we saw in round one? Well, I don't want you to sit it on Darcy Richards' head. That's what I don't want you to do like they did for the best part of three quarters. And um, they just didn't move the ball um, smoothly. They didn't look like they had structure, the rebounding off halfback. And Joel, I talked about it just a little while ago pre-game that um, you know, the consistency of playing a couple of games in the row, in a row. If Eagle Hawk come out here and they are they give a half decent effort, I'm still not convinced about them because I just haven't seen enough. Because if they if they play poorly we can say, oh well, they've had a broken start, so we'll just give them one more week. Whereas the storm, they've been much more settled, I think. They've had two or three games in a row now and um, they've performed well. So there's not looking for excuses. I don't think there's any excuses for Storm. Uh, they should win, and if they don't, they would be disappointed. But Eagle Hawk, they just, and it might be my imagination, but they've got a little a little get-out-of-jail-free card if they don't perform quite right because they just haven't had that continuity. But in answer to your question, I want to see effort. I want you to see to deliver the ball um, correctly into the forward line. Don't sit it on the top of um, Darcy Richards' head. And I'd also like you to see using young Bailey Isley because we saw a period of time where in that third uh, quarter for about 15 minutes he looked dominant. But they were sitting on the top of his head as well at times, but they were just he was good enough to uh, clunk a couple. Right, time to get down to Brass Tax. City Strathfield, St Eagle Hawk. Who wins it, John Hunter? Uh, the Storm, just. I'm going the storm for all those reasons that I just mentioned, the continuity and also being at home. Normie? No, well, I'm going the other way. Yeah, I think Eagle Hawk can, uh, can come out here to Tannery Lane today and uh, can go away with the, uh, the points. Uh, and the, one of the reasons being is uh, they've got uh, an excellent dual ruck combination this year, which is probably going to be the best dual ruck combination in the, uh, in the league uh, with Neves and Frost and... Uh, That'll give them first use of the ball a lot more than what uh, Strath are going to get it. And, and I also think that uh, they can be the defence that can uh, hold up a Strath side that love to overuse the football, in my opinion. I'm going to, with absolutely no conviction, tip Eagle Hawk as well. But, uh, yeah, out here it is a different ball game to, to playing at famous Canterbury Park. We know that is for sure. The wide expanses suit the uh, the Strathfield State team down to the ground. So, uh, looking forward to seeing how these two teams go about it this afternoon uh, as they lock horns here at Tannery Lane. They're just about ready for a start. Two teams that met in the semi-final last year, and they're going to be right in the pecking order again in season 2024. Strathfield Say and Eagle Hawk. They're undefeated through the first two weeks of the season. There's a couple of kids who still want to kick goals down at the Tannery Lane end. The 
That hasn't um, changed. Umpires will clear those kids <laughs> off the ground. It's always a problem out here. And we will get underway here in round three of Bendigo footy. Big day of games. We'll bring you all the action throughout the afternoon here at Fresh Bendigo. And we are set for a start. Scott Bennett holds the ball aloft. The storm in the borough here at Tannery Lane. Here's John Hunter. That'll be Frost of Eelhawk versus Simpson of the Storm. Simpson won the tap. He tapped it in the direction of Lockie Gill. And we'll have a stoppage. It uh, got held up pretty quickly. Umpire blew his wh uh, whistle very quickly indeed. Tapped down there by Frost. Taps it marginally forward. A nice little pick up there by Bennett. He sends it long inside forward 50, but running onto the footy for the Storm will be uh, uh, Charles Dole. He sends it out wide. A bouncing kick. Bounces and tracks its way out to the boundary line in front of Sam Thompson. He was pushed across so to the footy. And it'll be tossed back into play. Centre wing of the outer side here, the Strath Road side of the ground. Any matchups that catch yeah, your eye early stages? Charles Norman? Dole's got the job on Darcy Richards as seen from that first contest today. So that'll be interesting for Charles. See, like I see you playing out of full forward for Strathfield's sake. Quick kick up toward half forward. And again, here is Dole standing in the road in front of Darcy Richards. Makes his second intercept mark of the opening term. Kicks into the centre square. Good mark held in by Mulquinney. Who clutched it to his chest, just inside the centre square, still in the Storm's defensive half. He'll spread it across half back and find Harvey. Harvey you now goes towards the boundary line. The kick was OK. It's a kick for, uh, forward by Blanford. He kicks and finds a teammate. They're moving it nicely through Clossy. Now he comes inboard and it's been marked. Working hard again was Harvey. Harvey will go inside forward 50, but intercepting mark there for the borough will be Kuma. He was so good in round one, Palakuma. Caught the eye of coach Tram Matson as he told us earlier. Sends it wide to Billy Evans. Overlap run to Joel Mullen. Kicks down the outer side wing. Finds Braden Frost just in front of halfway outer side of the ground for the borough. He kicks toward half forward. An awkward marking attempt by Rolls. Good enough to control it. Comes in field. Finds Evans. 60 from home. Cruising past is Ben Thompson. Worked himself into trouble. Now the handball back. Rowles inside forward 50 again. Almost the mark and it is. It's pulled in by Halsley. 30 metres from home, he had a couple of bites at it and a couple of opponents. Good enough to hang on, and he'll go back for the first set shot of the game. And that's certainly mis uh, mismatch there uh, with Osley uh, up against the smaller player in Ethan Freeman. He had a really good third term against Golden Square a couple of weeks ago, and it's a really good start here for Bailey Osley. First goal of the game goes the way of the Borough. And they lead by that kick. Couple of minutes played, opening term. Local footy leaves at Fresh Bendigo. Score sponsor, Bendigo City Framers. Yes, uh, a good build-up by Eagle Hawk there, although uh, we almost saw uh, Jacob O'Brien run himself into, uh, into trouble uh, as he went past the handball. It's a handball that he shouldn't have called for, but uh, he was good enough to get out of trouble, and it was a lovely centering kick into Osley, who, as I said, he had the... Uh, Height advantage over a much uh, smaller uh, opponent. It'll be Simpson back in the middle now for the Storm. Took almost three minutes to get that opening goal, so they just feel, uh, were feeling themselves out. Simpson wins the ball for the Storm and sends it wide to half forward. He puts it in the uh, path of Carson James. He sockers it towards the boundary line. Thompson getting involved, pick it up on the boundary line for the Borough. And he might get a free kick for too high. No, he hasn't. Out of side wing. That will be a ball in. One goal straight, six. The Borough lead. The Storm yet to score. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Ball chucked back in. Simpson reaches up, knocks it down. Hawks there through Holmes. Handball to Evans. Runs an arc. Defensive side of the stoppage. Kicks into the centre of the ground. That's great mark. Pulled in by Tom Bennett athletically. Drops it inside the forward 50. Osley uses the body and plucks another. He was able to nudge Featherby under it. And the high raking kick inside the forward 50 was swallowed up by the Eagle Hawk forward. And he can go back and kick his second within a couple of minutes. Yes, uh, once again a good build up by Eagle Hawk. Lovely use of uh, handball and uh, short passing. This is just the start that they wanted Eagle Hawk. Osley's finish is just a way to the left. He left it narrow, but very promising stuff for the Borough and for their young forward. They lead by seven. They've played four minutes in the opening term. And Oscar Madden's got the match up on Malik Gordon down there in Strath's forward line. Cooper Jones for the Storm played on quickly from the kick in from fullback. Spots up a teammate, Featherby. 
Feather will now go across into its defensive zone and find Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe uh, quickly had to make uh, Dole work. Spills to the back of the pack. Kuma goes in hard on hands and knees. Good, oh, strong hard tackle. It was borderline a sling. Umpire didn't agree on Kuma. And, in fact, he might get a free kick. He thought he had a free kick. It's not. It's a ball up. Big, tough play. 70 out from goal. Eagle Hawk, good, strong start here. Up they'll go, up in the ruck. Frost wins it, trying to make a pass. Would be Evans now. It's a hurried kick. The Storm will clear it to the wing. Overrunning in the, the footy there for the Burrowers. Langford. Ball just in, uh, in dispute. Kuma, nice strong handball. Evans over the top. They're off half back now, moving it nicely through Langford, and he'll spread it to the outer side wing. He yeah, opens the field up. Bennett couldn't take the mark. Former Storm player bubbles it a couple of times in the centre of the ground. Gives it back to Angove, and then he measures the pass pretty well in the end. And the Borough can hold on to things across half back. Gregor's got the ball in his hands, shoots it inside, just across the defensive 50. Kuma, it's a much slower attack than he's usually, just saunters off half back with a bounce, smashes it up the line, it'll sit up for Gill, prolific last week for the Storm, back to Dole, across the defensive 50 now for Strathfield say it's a nice switching kick, and they've opened up things well here, the Storm, now back in board they come to Jones, they trail by seven points, they're inside the defensive 50 Strathfield say, we're six minutes into the opening turn. Jones to Geary on half back, Geary. He spreads it across. He's done that a couple of times now. Across half back to Lockie Gill. Lockie Gill will straighten up down the line. Finds a teammate. That was King. He'll get it back now. Um, it was a nice bit of work by Gill. They'll go inboard. Shannon Geary might have got one too high. Umpire let it go. Running onto the footy will be King. Tried to get involved with the old one too, but it looks like they've coughed it up. Turnover. Good strong tackle. It'll be a ball up, I'd say, between... Wing on the broadcast side and left half forward to the Sheep Wash Creek end. We'll have a ball up. Just nailed that, job. Yes, well executed. Oh, got it out. Well executed. Oh Plossie had a play at it. So too did Gill. Braden Frost picked it up, dropped it, just got boot to ball. Umpire waves play on. Evans has been busy early. Offloads here to Holmes, who runs through halfback, kicks an absolute wobbler. Bounces its way out toward Ronchieri. He couldn't take it. Geary was there for the storm. And we'll have a ball up. Been a long time since these two teams have met. And there's only been one Geary out there. It's just Shannon this afternoon between these two teams. Going to have another ball up here after that. was a little bit of skew. Right on centre wing, broadcast side of the ground. Hawks by seven. Seven and a half gone opening turn. Frost, front position, taps it into the middle. Whistle on play. I'll get a free kick here, the Storm. They need something. They don't look potent at the moment. Malik Gordon, he'll go to half forward. Good, strong uh, no, contest. Free, free to Eagle Hawk. Fresh Bendigo, Fresh Bendigo score update. Castlemaine with the first two on Golden Square down at the camp. They lead by 13 early stages. Holmes gathers on half forward for the Borough. Goes goal with the goals are open and he slammed it into the post for a minor score. Did everything but score the minor. 1-2-8 the Borough. They lead the Storm yet to score. Eight minutes gone. Opening term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. It was Clayton Holmes at his Aggressive best on that occasion. Long kick in from fullback for the Storm from Ethan Featherby. That's it. Half back on that outer side. Quick hands from Shannon Geary. Flicked it on to Harvey. He goes by hand immediately. Darting kick up the line in towards Shishka. Couldn't find him. Holmes. Dangerous handball to halfback. Kuma's good enough to shred the tackle. Sends it wide toward Bryce Frost. Finds him on the back point of the square for Eagle Hawk. And the two Blues look to build the footy up again. They lead by eight points. Eight and a half minutes played. Opening stages here at Tannery Lane. Cross chips out wide to Sam Thompson. Comes over the top and finds Mullen. Mullen plays on quickly. He'll look to go shallow inside. Forward 50. Almost spotted up a player. It was uh, neat but didn't quite come off. It was O'Sullivan. Mopping up now will be Harvey off half back. Offering support was Ron Chieri. He goes further afield and finds uh, Mulquinney. Mulquinney to the outer side. It's a bouncing footy. Right half forward, right up against the boundary line. His target over there was James Shishka to the Sheep Wash Creek end. I had to get out again. I'm, I'm going to really emphasise that for the rest of the afternoon and annoy everybody. One, two, eight, the borough. The storm yet to score. <laughs> Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. No potential to go wrong at all. Ball tossed back in. Lester out of the ruck. Jams it on the boot quickly. 
Bryce Frost tried to climb Mark hit about eight sets of hands on the way through. Handed it off to Holmes. Kick across the defensive 50. Bulger was there. Had a play at it. Taken away from him by King. Bulger took it back. Then King took him in the tackle. Knocked it loose. Dragged him to the ground. Umpire said play on. And it comes out eventually. O'Brien couldn't handle it. And we'll have a toss in. A left half forward for the Storm. Doesn't spend a, a lot of time in their, their half early norm. No, Eagle Hawks defence has been great. They've been able to bottle them up and uh, get them to kick laterally across the ground instead of making way down the ground. Five goals in the opening stages between South Bendigo and Kangaroo Flat. Two at Dower Park. The Bloods three straight lead the Roos 2-1. Frost front position there again for the Borough. He's rucking well. But it'll be the Storm. They've got the numbers to the back door. Handball received. Ended up with Ratcliffe. He goes centering ball. It was an aggressive kick. It ended up with Dole. Dole now. He swings and goes. Short pass. He's spotted up a player. They're moving nicely through Clossy. Swinging wide handball. It'll uh, come through Jones. Jones looks to come in board. Offering support there was Clossy again. He spreads it further wide. And Harvey dropped a mark. He ordinarily would have taken. He had time. He had space. He sends it inside forward 50. Juggling mark there was Sue. Got his hands on the football. Hard up against the line. 40 metres out from the goal. The Storm attack, minor score. Still no potency, hasn't hit the scoreboard. Score, storm yet to score. 1 2 8, the borough, 11 gone, for opening turn. Just train your, um, your binoculars on this uh, young boundary umpire, Johnny. There's a, sh a sign just behind him out on the road there. Can you read that sign to me? That says uh, Sheepwash Creek. That's where we are, right across uh, <laughs> half forward there. Strathfield say Storm into attack. The ball's brought down to ground and it won't come out from that pack. We will have another ball up. Storm inside forward 50. Haven't scored yet. 11 and a half minutes gone. Opening term. Borough 1 2 8. Chance here at the stoppage for Bennett of Eagle Hawk. He just runs his way back into the pack. Ben Thompson's not letting the footy go. And we'll have another ball up. We're still within 40 of the Storm goal. Down at the creek end. Searching for their opening goal here. Heisley doing the ruck work in his back zone for Eagle Hawk. Sling tackle dangerous. Is he going to pay that? Uh, it looked like if it was ever going to be one, Harvey then. But umpire didn't agree. He said he'll ball it up. So up, they'll go up in the ruck again. Isley getting involved. Harvey Sharks for the storm. He'll send it goalward right to the goal line. And a chest mark has been taken by Shishka. Used his body well and marked it right on the line. Might have even, even been able to. In oh, fact, no. was a, he did infringe. Yep. Well, it's gone back the other way. The kick quickly comes out. And it ends up with O'Brien of the Borough. Gee, that's a, uh, an opportunity gone begging. O'Brien handed it off to Holmes. Kicks down the line for Rouse. He's pulled it in at right half back. Beyond the boundary line. He stands as he kicks upfield. It's an intelligent kick too. Lands nicely into the path of Ben Thompson. This mark just in front of halfway. Just in front of our broadcast spot. Michael Footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Thompson drops it inside the forward 50. Richard stands under it. A hand to it from Jones for the Storm. 35 out from the Eagle Hawk goal. Desperate defence. Neves comes up with it for Eagle Hawk. Hands it off to O'Shaughnessy. He's ripped down in a tackle. Caught holding the ball. Great stuff from Riley Wilson. And he earns the Storm a free kick inside the defensive 50. Not to move it immediately out to up Marchese, but he's going to be brought back is Riley Wilson. And he'll take it from inside the back 50 for the Storm. They trail still by eight points. Still haven't scored through 13 minutes. Wilson unsure where to go. Then he decides to play on and he'll spread it wide. Diving mark. It just wasn't, wasn't taken by Dole. In fact, it was. He's been getting involved a bit, Dole, hasn't he? Running on now. It's a good bit of work uh, by the Storm. But um, what's happened here? They're going to cough it up, I think. They are. Turnover. Eagle Hawk back inside forward 50. It's at the ankles of um, Evans. Evans couldn't pick it up. They're still working it. And then another turnover. Picked up by the Storm. And it's kicked long and strong by Marchese. He bangs it outside the defensive 50. Up toward the wing. Bulges after it for the Hawks. Comes off hands and will be tossed in right on halfway on that outer side. Yes, at this stage in the game, it's uh, the Eagle Hawk defence. They're in sync with each other. They're moving backwards and forwards across the ground to cut Strath off. Fresh Bendigo score updates. South with five straight on the board against Kangaroo Flat to lead by 16 points. And Castlemaine by 14 over Golden Square in the early stages. Clearing kick for the Hawks from the stoppage up toward half forward. Cut off by Jones for the Storm. Dangerous kick inside the defensive 50. Umpire spotted a free and it was Rouse holding on to Leicester. And so the free kick will go to the Stratfield St. Storm Premiership defender. He sends it out wide to Jones. 
In the long sleeves this afternoon is Cooper Jones as he stands at half back. Ships it over the top. It's a nice kick. They continue to build it up through Reinheimer. So Reinheimer, defensive side of centre wing. Scoreboard side. On the left, he'll dump it down the line. They'll set themselves. Shishka's with the target. Running onto it, uh, a shark ball by Abe Sheen. And he's coughed it up and it's another turnover. And he's kicked it straight to Kuma of the Borough. Kuma will go backwards in order to go forward. So they're looking good here, the Borough off half back. It'll be a long ball out. It'll go into the direction of Rouse. But it's a turnover again. It's kicked it straight to the opposition and he kicked it straight to Clossie. Clossie will go long and strong to the goal square. They'll set themselves. Kuma got his hands on the footy. Sheen runs onto it. Has he po toe poked it through? He has. They're all looking at the goal umpire. He's unsure. I reckon the goal umpire might think it's a point that was rushed a little earlier, about a second earlier. He's conferring with the goal umpire and they're all unsure, Norm. They are very unsure. This is interesting. I think what happened, um, the ball looked like it might have went through the points for a start. Now it's a goal. Well, we finally got there. We can't go to the, um, well, the, the replay, of course. But score uh, review. Score review, that's what we're after, Joel. One goal straight, the Storm. One, two, eight, Eagle Hawk. And we've gone 16 minutes, opening term. Score sponsor, Parsons Towing in Castlemaine. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. That's only the second time that Strath have been able to breach the uh, Eagle Hawk defence. Up until then, they've done very well. And it was a poor kick out by Eagle Hawk coming out of defence, which uh, got the ball up. Osley into the ruck now, the lone goal kicker for the Hawks here in this opening frame. Billy Evans tries to crash his way through in the middle of the ground, taken away from him by Harvey for the storm. So the two number twos have been in the thick of it early, and now they're waxing. Harvey kicked it straight to Evans, almost kicked it straight back to Harvey. Simpson with a little blind turn was very fancy, kicks to full forward. Free, free kick. kick to Gordon. It's a free kick to Gordon. What about the footwork from the big fella, George Simpson, in the middle of the ground? It was the slowest half pirouette you've ever seen. And yet he faked everyone out of their boots. And now a shot from Malik Gordon, who's got it 35 metres out. Better than a 45 degree angle to the left of centre. Yes, it was, uh, it was good work by the big ruckman then Simpson. He, uh, he just sort of spun around on the foot, left everybody behind, and then he pinpointed his kick. So Malik Gordon with an opportunity. For the Storm, kicked two last week. He's got three on the season thus far. Right foot kick never looked like it. And he splits the gap between the right-hand goal post and the right-hand behind post. 1-1-7, plays 1-2-8. Hawks in front, 17 and a half gone. Opening turn. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Joel Peterson, Norm Jenkin and this man, John Hunter, with you. Holmes plays on from fullback for the Borough. And he'll send it long. He was unsure where to go. I saw he was frustrated. And in fact, he's caused a turnover. Now a handball received. It uh, will be the Storm Blanford. He goes inside forward 50. And a mark's being taken within range by Shishka directly in front. Yes, the, uh, the stress Storm's use of the football now is starting to... Uh be a bit of a worry for the Eagle Hawk defence and uh, they're getting in front and uh, they've got every opportunity. They felt like they've dominated the borough and this will make them pay if he can kick it directly in front. Right on 50. It's long, it's high, it'll go to the goal line. They're claiming it's touched. Again, have we got any controversy on the goal line? No, we haven't. It's a goal, making the goal up off the work down at the Sheepwash Creek end. That's 2-1-13 uh, now, the Storm. 1-2, Eagle Hawk. We're approaching uh, quarter to, uh, the time on the, in the opening term score. Sponsor, Jason Westcott, builder. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, it's, uh, it's been a, a good persistence by uh, Strath to keep this uh, the game moving and, and be able to pinpoint their... Uh, opponents who have, have led up to the football, their teammates who have led up to the football and uh, they're starting to make the most of it. Yeah, goal and pie down at the creek end's been kept plenty busy in the early stages and a couple of uh, conferences down there thus far. Stress levels through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> you want to rest by the end of the day? Absolutely, you want to rest by quarter time. Ball back in the middle. Secondary stoppage, almost worked out toward Wilson or Braden Frost. Handball for the Hawks defensively, almost turned it over and now it has been knocked loose. Socket out toward the boundary line by Mulquinney. At left half forward for Strathfield, say, geez, really wrenched. 
Palakuma into the ground there, waited for him to get into the right position for the tackle and then dumped him into the turf fiercely. Nothing untoward about it, it was good physical stuff. And a ball up at left half forward for the Storm. Wilson has a go for Stratfield, say, and Kuma gets a little bit of his own back, driving him into the turf in the shade. It's our left half forward there. We'll do it all again with another stoppage. Simpson doing pretty well in the ruck for the Storm against a Frost. Now it's uh, tapped in the direction of Thompson. Hurried kick out of the pack though. It'll bounce. Running onto it uh, will be Cooper Jones. He's been good. Feeds it out by hand by Mulquinney. Mulquinney will go inside forward 50, but it's a poor kick. It'll be a turnover, and he's kicked it straight to the opposition. So under a bit of pressure here, the two Blues, the Borough. It'll be a long kick. Looking for Angove. Angove marks. Looking to bring it down the broadcast side wing. Defensive side of the centre. Centre wing, in fact. Long now. It's high. They'll set themselves. Neves got a lot of it. Then he's just kept his feet. He looked to feed it inboard. Then he decides against it. It's a long ball to Isley. Front position. At the back. It's punched. Doing well for the Storm. Tracking it will be Lester. He's got support there by Ratcliffe. They'll see it over the boundary line. 35 out from goal. Right in front of the uh, club rooms. And we'll have a ball in. Five point margin. Storm lead. 21 gone. Opening turn. Yes, experienced by Lester then. He uh, waited behind Isley. Just gave him a little nudge forward as the ball came in. And then was able to track it himself. Golden Square on the board with their first of the game down at Camp Reserve. They trail Castlemaine by seven points early stages. Stoppage here inside forward 50 for the Hawks. Great tackle. Classy. Gee, Rouse was lucky there. He dragged it in. The pack was on top of him, umpire blindsided. And we'll have another stoppage. Inside forward 50 for the Hawks. They trail by five points after kicking the first goal of the game. Storm with the last two. Radcliffe dragged off his kick, slapped out by Mulquinney. Outside the defensive 50 to O'Brien. Back to Holmes for the Hawks. Whips the kick inside the 50. Rouse le le leapt a week too early. And then Featherby socketed across the boundary line, bounced on the way through, so it'll be tossed back in in front of the throng of Storm supporters out in front of the club rooms in the right forward pocket. Storm 2-1, Eagle Hawk 1-2. We're 22 minutes gone here in this opening term. Great to have you with us. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Braden Frost takes front spot. It was tapped down to Harvey. He's immediately tackled by Evans, which has been a, an entertaining head-to-head -head duel. In the early stages, the two number twos going at it. Now Rowles at the stoppage. He's dispossessed. Umpire said he threw it. And so it'll be a free kick going to George Simpson. He's had a uh, couple of minutes as the Storm's emerging big man. Now he's being called to come back behind his mark. Just a touch of umpire. No, it no, it's not his kick. Yeah, Shannon Geary. No, it's no. Matt Harvey's. Matt Harvey, look at that. Okay, well. Umpire and pedantry gets the, uh, the right result in the end. And now Harvey kicks it all of 12 metres to Blanford, who's run down by O'Shaughnessy. He appeals for a free kick. And that wasn't the way that the Storm wanted that to unfold at all. No, it's good work by Eagle, Eagle Hawk then. They, uh, they knew the short pass was on and they cut it off. So inside forward 50 for the Hawks. Free kick now in the ruck contest, is it? This one is going to Stratfield, say. At, at ground level. And this one is going to Lockie Ratcliffe, who is allowed to take his kick. Sends it out wide looking for Leicester or Jackson Lay. Either would do. Bounce for Leicester in the end. Handball on the bounce to Harvey at halfback. He kicks down the line looking for a teammate there. Not being able to take it was King. Dole slipped in for the storm, but they turned it over. The Frost brothers, Bryce to Braden. Handball over the top was clever. Kick forward for the Hawks, he's smothered. Still at left half forward for Eagle Hawks. Storm take possession back. Now a chain of hand passes through to the centre of the ground. Lovely build up. And it's in the hands of Sheehan in the centre circles. He's, he's, he's got Gordon uh, running shotgun. Gordon will go inside forward 50. He had a good strong hard lead. And he hit up uh, Lachlan Gill who's playing down forward. And on a pretty tight angle. Probably 48 from goal if not a fraction further in the shadows of the trees will have a shot at goal. See what he can do with a footy. Lockie Gill now. Long and high. This will hurt the borough if he slams it home. And he doesn't. Just sneaks it in for a minor score. So the Storm now go to 2-2-14. Two, two, they lead 1-2-8. Almost quarter time here. Footy, local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. A scrappy start. Plenty of turnovers in this game. So far, 
Langford in the back pocket to Holmes who's got it in the defensive goal square. Launches it outside the back 50. Clears the head of Bryce Frost. Picked up well on the outer side and searched forward by Ben Thompson for the Hawks. Richards a chance at left half forward. Just tries to keep it in front of himself. Can't pick it up. Eventually does. Got it to O'Sullivan. There's a free kick in there. Yeah, Richards leak. It'll go to Darcy Richards. 52 from home. Rolls on immediately. Right foot kick. Sets sail for home and misses to the right hand side. Minor score for the Hawks. Their first score in 15 minutes of play. 1-3-9 to the Storm. 2-2-14. 25 go on opening turn. Blanford will play on from fullback and kick it in for the Storm. Spots up Cooper Jones. Racking up the positions in his back half here, Jones. Spins the ball in his hands and kicks it on the left with the long sleeves on. Goes to Shishka. Clunks a mark in front of his eyes. Do you trust the Premier data numbers, Johnny? Yeah, uh, well, Cooper Jones last week apparently had 36 disposals and 14 marks. Well, he racked them last week too. He's continued on this afternoon as Blanford received a handball and kicks it to half forward. He's got a running Shannon Geary. Geary will go to the top of the square. They'll set themselves. Hands on the footy was Abe Sheen. Under pressure here will be the Borough. Sheen tries to track it. Good strong ta uh, tackle. Will the ball spill free? It does in the direction of Simpson. And it's now juggling around. He got rid of it, then got it back again. And they went uh, wide to Gill. Gill, his kick was smothered. It was ineffective. Also, the big ruckman getting involved again will be Simpson. Umpire let it go. Hurried kick out of the pack by Frost of the Borough. Uh, here he is, man on a mission. Is Cooper Jones kicks inside the forward 50. He was looking for Sheehan, but Madden was best positioned all the way for the Hawks to intercept. Picks it off with ease and ships short to Angove. Experienced defender, premiership player with Lockin to Bourbon United. Comes short to Holmes. Inside the defensive 50, the Hawks. They trail by five. 26 and a half gone, opening turn. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Joel Peterson, John Hunter, Norm Jenkins with you on your Saturday afternoon. Long kick up toward Richards on the wing for Eagle Hawk. Through his hands. Ben Thompson, fair feet. Does the roving. Picks the handball out. Carla was trying to apply pressure from the bench then. That was rather clever. And the storm numbers prevail. Flossie to Ratcliffe at halfback. Whips his kick across the defensive 50. Broken up by Isley for the Hawks. He has to backtrack toward the centre square. Then his handball went missing. Looking for O'Brien. Gets back in there. Wins it back. Frost outlet handball releases the run of Sam Thompson. Sam Thompson now. He'll go wide. It was a poor kick. It'll bounce to the back of the pack. Neves is vaguely in the area, but... It was all with the storm. Ben Lester manages to defensively put it over the boundary line. 70 out from goal, that Eagle Hawk attack. Umpire to ball it in now. Up they'll go in the ruck. It'll be Frost again, front position. He seems to always try to go for that position, but Simpson did well, tied it up. And again, we'll have a stoppage. On the outer side, just beyond 50, Eagle Hawk attack. It's a punch forward, inside forward 50. Went in the direction of Neves. Gordon emerges with it now for the Storm. Swings it wide towards the boundary line. Good fist. He got caught behind Shishka of the Storm and puts it over the boundary line. It'll be a ball in. Fresh Bendigo score update around the grounds. Gisborne with the first two on Meriburrah down at Gardner Reserve. South Bendigo by 13 points over Kangaroo Flat early stages. And Castlemaine by a goal over Golden Square. Here at Tannery Lane, it's the Storm 2-2, two -two. Eagle Hawk 1-3, closing in on quarter time. At the stoppage, just trying to back his way through there was Blanford. Couldn't free himself from the tackle. Have another ball up, Braden Frost knocks it out, taken by Harvey. Handball off to Shannon Geary, intelligent kick, low down, taken by Blanford, kicks inside forward 50. Couple of targets that he was aiming for. James and Sue, neither could take it. Sam Thompson's handball over his head. Back into traffic. Now Kuma tries to shred a couple of tackles. Look at him just operate outside the defensive 50. Couple of sidesteps, frees the arms, gets the handball away. Not running too far in the end was O'Brien. His kick was dropped into the bucket perfectly for Richards. Out of right half forward, siren sounds. And Charles Dole will have to be very, very careful. The umpire hadn't called him to stand. Well, that's true, yeah. So the umpire hadn't called him to stand before he stopped standing. And Darcy Richards will unload a tube from 60 out. 
and puts it out of bounds on the full in the right forward pocket. So the, the Hawks dominated the early stages in that opening term. It took Strathfield, say, 16 minutes to get on the board. They then kicked two goals in quick time. And at court time, it's the Storm who lead by five points. Strathfield say 2 2 14, Eagle Hawk 1 3 9. It is round three in Bendigo footy, and it lives at Fresh Bendigo. Quarter time at Tannery Lane, round three in Bendigo football. It lives at Fresh Bendigo thanks to our sponsors, Parsons Towing, Castle Lane, Bendigo City Framers, JB Restumping, Jason Westcott Builder and match day sponsor, Bendigo Truck Centre, Joel Peterson, John Hunter, Norm Jenkins with you. Quarter time, it is Strathfield Say 2-2-14, leading Eagle Hawk 1-3-9. The Borough kicked the first goal of that term. They dominated play. They kicked their 1-2-8 within eight minutes. The Storm then... Got on a bit of a run, opened up a six-point break. Eagle Hawk taking 18 minutes between their second, their second and third behinds. And they didn't add to their score after that. They trail by five points at quarter time. Goal kickers in the opening term. Abe Sheehan kicked the opening goal with a toe poke on the line. James Shishka kicked one from a long way further than that. Both resulted in conferences. Both resulted in four points to the Storm and to the Hawks. It was Bailey Osley who had a real purple patch in the opening stages of that quarter who kicked their first goal, had another shot and missed. 
And then they uh, had a certain goal from a free kick ruled out as well, Eagle Hawk in that, uh, sorry, Strathfield saying that period. So, in the amount of case, they should be further in front. Uh, who did you like in that opening term for Eagle Hawk, Johnny? Oh, well, you, you did mention that it was um, Isley that provided the target up forward, and we saw it in that opening round. He was really good, so good young player. Kuma continuing on his good form from round one as well. I like the way he got involved. Evans early in that quarter was good. Uh, I like Brady Rouse. He was getting a, a fair bit of the football. And uh, also at times, both Thompson boys getting involved. I like the way they go about it. And it's a good contest in the ruck, but I, I sense that Braden Frost, a little bit bigger and a little bit more experienced, has just got the upper hand at the moment, but important. Storm Norming? Uh, Shannon Geary, as, as usual, up to his usual best, uh, playing down back, but uh, uh, was in the forward line numerous times that quarter, running forward and leaving his opponent. Uh, Charlie Dole had an excellent start to that quarter, uh, held Eagle Hawk out on numerous occasions. Uh, through the midfield, Jones, Harvey, Clossy and Featherby all had plenty of the football and uh, have been the uh, instigators behind getting the ball forward for uh, the Strath in the first quarter. They faced the music early, Strathfield say, and they were they were equal to the challenge. Now it's a matter of uh, what can Eagle Hawk muster there is. Uh, there's no great advantage in terms of a breeze out here today. It's dead still. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. Beautiful day for footy. Couldn't ask for better. And it is Strathfield say with a five-point lead as we enter the second term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo and immediately Matt Harvey gets the opening clearance of this second quarter. Gordon gets a free kick and then he got collected by Billy Evans who's going to have to give him about 10 metres on the mark. And Gordon plays on, jabs the kick inside the forward 50. Langford easily gobbles that one up, sliding in. Takes it down low. Such an important defender. Can play tall and small for this Hawks team. Outlets to Rouse, who's been busy in that opening term. Brady Rouse kicks down the line. And a good position was made by Richards, but he got rid of Dole a little bit too fiercely, and he's given away a free on the wing. Dole's been good as well. He'll go backwards. Spots up Clossy for the Storm. He's on right half back. He's directing traffic. Now he's spread it to the outer side wing. Kicked it to a two on one and Isley won it for the borough now and he sends it inside forward 50. Running onto it being Neves. Neves goes around the corner on the left and it was probably a fortunate kick into the path of Mullen. Not sure he meant it jo um, there Norm but Joel Mullen, uh, Mullen will line up directly in front. Yes, yeah, so it was good work by Mullen then. Uh, he's been playing through the midfield. He drifted forward and uh, and Johnny Neve got the ball to boot and uh, got it round the corner. And right position, right time, and uh, he took full advantage. He now has to hit the scoreboard to full attempt. To the Sheepwash Creek end here, the Borough. Can he put it on the board? And Mullen does for the opener of the second term. So they take the lead back. It's a one-point margin. It is a 2-3-15 to 2-2-14. Two, two, and we've gone a couple of minutes in this second term. Score sponsor, JB Restumping. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. An interesting to note in that lead-up that it was uh, Eagle Hawk who uh, were using the short pass and possession game to perfection. They took the ball from one side of the ground to the other and then uh, were able to take it down the flank. Uh, Fresh Bendigo score update just into the second quarter down at Gardner Reserve and Gisborne lead Mirabara by 68 points. They kicked 11 goals 9 to 1 goal 1 in that game. So uh, the Dogs, as they did early in last season, are having their way with Mirabara early on at home. Free kick across half court here for the Storm. This one looks like it's going to go the way of Gill. Gill from 52 metres out sends it to the pocket out uh, over the arms, outstretched arms of Sam Thompson through for a minor score, which ties us up at 2 3 15 apiece. These two teams. Other scores around Bendigo footy. South Bendigo have kicked eight straight to lead Can Kangaroo Flat by 12 points. And quarter time at Castle Main it is the Magpies 2 4 leading Golden Square 1 3. The ball's back up on the wing from the kick in from full back. They didn't muck around the borough. They win it through Neves. His handball is smothered. They got numbers. Frost. Old 1-2, uh, Evans getting involved as well. Short pass hits Mullins. Only the barely the required distance. On the wing, oh, he's got a player all by himself. It's Frost on the half forward. He handballs it to a running Evans. Evans will go goalward, but right in the goal square. 
big long hands, big long arms, it was Isley, takes a clunker, round the body, plays on and bangs it through. The Borough get another, they extend the lead, it's now, well, 3 three twenty one to 2, 3 15. the Borough looking good in this these opening minutes of this second term. Score sponsor, JB Restumping, local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, uh, good work by Bryce Frost then. He was the one that got the ball out from in the pack in the first place. Uh, got it on to uh, Mullins. Mullins got it out to Evans. And uh, Frost just walked forward, found the hole. They found him, a lovely handball on. And uh, a great mark by Isley who got in front. And uh, when uh, a man of that size gets in front against a smaller opponent, very hard to beat. Comes the first multiple goal kicker of the day. It is Bailey Osley back in the middle. Braden Frost with the hit out. Harvey on the end of it. Clearing kick smothered by Evans. Bryce Frost a toe poke wide. Rouse shreds the tackle of Harvey. Outside of the boot. Bounces up towards half forward. Richards attacks it with some vigour. And then it was dragged in underneath a pack at left half forward. The ball is dragged to a stop. John Mullen not able to collect it cleanly. And Scott Bennett will toss it aloft. Frost goes up against Simpson. Eaglehawk Ruck had the better of it. Roved well by Ben Thompson. Around the body inside the forward 50. Almost spilt to Bryce Frost. Ronchieri has a play at it. Flicks it out wide. Standing start. McGregor shot on goal. Almost trapped in the defensive goal square. Pressure's on that storm defence now. Featherby did well in the end. Kept a cool head. Got it out to Jones. His handball flared wide. Couple of options out there. One of them was Shannon Geary over the top to Jackson Lay. And now they build down that outer side, the hosts. They've worked it out nicely, haven't they, here, the storm on the outer side wing. It'll be a long ball in to half forward. A mark's been taken by Gordon. Gordon now. Half forward. It's a long kick. It'll go into the hot spot. It spills to the back of the pack. Sam Thompson over around the footy. Shishka picked it off and then put it through for his second. Just sat there nicely for Shishka. He said, thank you very much. And I'll whack it through. And we even up the scores again. 3-3-21 of East. Score sponsor Parsons Towing in Castle, Maine. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, it was good work up the uh, outer wing by uh, the Strath boys then. Uh, a couple of lovely pinpoint short passes, two handballs. Finally got it into Malik Gordon, who uh, nice long kick in, put pressure on the Eagle Hawk defence. The ball was allowed to bounce, and uh, it bounced Shiska's way, and uh, he was able to run into an open goal. Good game so far, Normie. It has been an excellent game, especially the start of this second quarter. Wouldn't mind this continuing. It's been a little bit cleaner this second term. Evans with a clean clearance out of the middle for the Hawks. Drives it to full forward, but a good intercept mark is taken by Dole, who's been impressive for Strathfield. So comes out to half-back and finds King. King comes over the top to Gill. He had Braden Frost run interference. Umpire said he got there in time. Picked up by Clossy for the storm. Up toward half forward. Holmes picks that off. He turns and wants to go immediately. He whacks an absolute sack of a thing back toward half forward. And Jones picks that off easily for Strathfield. Sir. Racking up the positions again is Jones. He'll go wide. That was okay to Featherby. Featherby short pass. I'll work it off half back. In fact, they won't. Ratcliffe coughed it up for... The storm, it will be a turnover which results in a stoppage. Neves on top of the pack and traps it in. And on half forward for Eagle Hawk, we'll have another ball up. Up they'll go in the ruck again. Frost, all tied up. He tapped it to his feet and they dived in on the top of it. Lester doing the ruck work on that occasion. We'll do all it again. Another stoppage. Lester against Frost. Leicester actually won it for the Storm. In the path of Malik Gordon. Probably held without the footy. Umpire let it go. Receiving a handball to the back door was Billy Evans of the Borough. It's now another turnover. No, not doing well on that occasion. Getting involved there would be a dole for the Storm. Contested ball still on the outer side. One too high. It's going to be a Borough free kick. They'll have a shot at goal. Hard up against the boundary line. It might be Joel Mullen that's got another shot at goal. He's pretty tight angle, but he's certainly got the leg from where he is. Yes, he did well then. He, he got onto that loose ball, which looked as though it was going Strath's way, and uh, they were forced to tackle and just got him too high. It was there, Norm. Probably threw his head back a little just to let the umpire know. It'll be a good kick from here if he slots it. He likes it! Wow, straight off the boot. 
He started celebrating for his second, so it's now a six-point margin. So it's seesawing back battle. 21 playing 27. Score sponsor, Bendigo City Framers. Footy, the local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, uh, it's interesting. Whoever gets first break out of the centre in this quarter has been able to make the most of it and uh, put score on the board. Once again, it was... Uh, Frost down to Evans, got the ball out, got it into Eagle forward line. They were able to hold it there, and uh, in the end, Mullins got the shot at goal. Really, Evans has played a hell of a quarter and a bit. He's uh, been prolific so far. Here he, goes here, again. He, here he is again <laughs> on the end of it, and they throw have three that bring him to a stop. He's uh, showing some of his best so far, is Evans. Frost this time for Eagle Hawk, wins it down, play at it there from Riley Wilson for the Storm who will get the clearance. Gill was dumped after he got rid of it so the free kick will go downfield. Sue's got it at left half forward. Rolls on immediately. Ran into Holmes. Got the handball away but it was taken by Ben Thompson for the Hawks. High kick up the middle of the ground. He got knocked down after he kicked it so another free kick downfield. This one will go to Neves. 70 from home. On the left boot. Puts it to the pocket. Clever kick to space. Osley couldn't mark. Will he get the free or will it be a storm free? Yeah, it will be. So they get out of trouble on that occasion. Featherby chips it to the back pocket for Jones. Yeah, the whistle's been running hot in the last couple of minutes. Jones can go outside that defensive 50. Yeah, it's uh, under pressure here, the storm, aren't they? Eagle Hawk started well in his second turn. They'll horseshoe it out now through Geary. Geary will go long and high and fight Dole. He's got a few possessions under his belt as well, but it's going to be a turnover. It was a poor kick. He's kicked it straight to Langford. Langford now plays on from the wing. For the Borough, he'll send it to the hot spot. They'll set themselves. Isley will be the target. Front and centre. Plays allowed to go on. Contested footy. It's a nervous ball. It's still contested. Lester picks it up for the Storm. Will feed it to a teammate. Then over the top. Getting involved was Wilson. Also it's Mal Quinney. They'll run it through the middle. Long ball inside forward 50. Big uh, build up it was. And he found Harvey. Harvey now short pass. He's got a player leading. And he's hit it up. And he'll have another shot at goal here the Storm. Really positive bit of play. It's Sue with the footy and 45 degree angle will get a decent look at this ball. Yes, an ugly, uh, lovely use of handball by uh, Strath to get themselves firstly out of trouble and then in the open to uh, be able to pinpoint a lovely pass to Harvey. Sue stands on just beyond now, took a step back on the chalk mark at 50. 45 degree angle, we're looking straight over his right shoulder. We'll see how he drops it. Drops it poorly and it goes right. Lucky to score. In fact, I reckon that was out of bounds on the full, but the umpire must have felt sorry for him and just inched him with a minor score. 3-4-22 Storm. Eagle Hawk 4-3-27. 12 gone. Second term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Didn't have anything to do with the fact that you're in a truck on the wing and the umpire was under the footy, would it? Well, I reckon it might have something to do with it, Joel. So another chance going beating for the Storm. They'll get an immediate opportunity though. It's sent back inside the forward 50. Lanford running onto it inside the pocket. Holmes was good enough to pick it up for the Hawks defence. Bulger's clearing kick. Batted down by Gill. He tried to run through the tackle. Got dragged down. Storm fans want the free kick. They won't get it. Gill is infuriated as he gets up and appeals his case with the umpire. Meanwhile, Kuma drives it off half-back for the Hawks. Mark taken by Richards, attacking side of the wing. He rolls around onto his right boot, sends a long high footy inside the forward 50. Evans was up, couldn't mark. Gordon's gone back for the storm. He can clear the defensive 50. Exciting to play. It went Angove. Turnover again. Angove of the Borough. will send it back inside forward 50. Evans got a heap of it. Then he was uh, had the composure to grab the footy and go goalward and bounces it into the, point, uh, into the post and just showed his class there, Evans, albeit he didn't kick it. So it's back to one goal straight. 4-4 four, four playing 3-4. 13 gone. Second term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, we need to take a breath here. There's going to be a lot of tired boys if the ball keeps going ping-pong like this end-to-end. -end. A lot of tired commentators. Don't worry about the <laughs> players, Norm. Margins over 100 points down at Gardner Reserve. Halfway through the second term. 17-7 to one goal, two. Gisborne over Maribara. So that's going, to be a, uh, that's going to be a troublesome afternoon down there. Here's Charles Dole for the Storm. Kicks up the line. 
with a fly. Reinheimer coming over the top of Braden Frost. Couldn't knock the football loose. Bennett flicks it out to Kuma. Look back for a kick. Pinpoint to Richards and where only he could access it. Richards inside the forward 50. Evans coming out of the cage. He can't come up with the footy and meet it. And it was taken away by Clossing inside defence for the Storm. Handball over the top to Jones. Jones now on to Featherby. Neat kick outside the defensive 50. That'll be a three. Yeah, chopping the arms. So Charlie King's got it at left half back for Stratfield save. 4-4 four, four the Hawks. 3-4 the Storm. 14 minutes gone. Second turn. Much better standard second quarter. It's been really good footy here at Tannery Lane. Short pass. Clossy receives. Short pass forward. James receives of the Storm. Now they'll swing it to the wing. Target will be Malik Gordon. Got caught behind. Might have gave Richards one too high. He looks a bit sore for himself there, Richards, as Gordon picks it up. It was a nice bit of sweeping ball, and he gives it to Sue. It was a short pass forward, and he marked it on 50 directly in front. Yes, and in that last uh, passage of play there also, um, Charlie Dole sent Kuma to the ground. Sue gave it to Clossy, who ran from a long way back and then sent it wide into the pocket off hands and we'll have a ball in 20 around from goal. Good build up again. But I'll tell you one thing, it's a lot slicker Eagle Hawk than what we saw in round one, isn't it? And Storm playing their way out here as well. Hunching his one straight, kick the way of the Hawks. Halfway gone in this second term. Clossy attacked the footy with some pace. Kick was smothered by Ben Thompson. Jammed out of there by Sam Thompson to O'Shaughnessy for the Hawks at halfback. Looping handball to Wangard. Look at Clossy just barrel his way through a couple of bodies. Picked up by James. Handball to Wilson. Stepped across the boundary line. And we'll have a throw in near the junction of the 50 in the boundary at right half forward for the Strathfield Say Storm. Kicking to the Tannery Lane end here in this second turn. 4-4 four, four, plays 3-4. John Peterson, John Hunter, Norm Jenkins with you. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Sam Thompson with the stoppage clearance. Handed it up to Bennett. He couldn't come away with it for the Hawks. We'll do it all again. Still 55 out from the Storm goal. Umpire doesn't muck around. He puts it up into the air. Contested footy. Ground level. Storm in attack. Marginally into the 50. Another stoppage. Umpire. Blows his whistle, crosses his arm and said, let's do it all again. Give it to me. Simpson for the Storm. It's a big afternoon against Frost. Ball is bubbling around right on 50. Storm in attack. We'll have another ball up. Six-point margin. Eagle Hawk lead. We've gone 16 minutes in the second. Footy fresh. He's a, a real arm wrestle at the moment. Gill from the stoppage, kicks to full forward. Madden sprawls out. Shishka kept his feet, picks it up. Centering kick, really intelligent stuff. Finds Sheehan. And Abe Sheehan's marked it 30 metres out, as good as directly in front. That was brilliantly played by James Shishka. Yes, it was. Uh, Madden, the defender, in that situation, you've got to keep your feet. You can't go to ground and give the uh, forward the easy opportunity, which he did. And so Abe Sheehan, who kicked the first goal of the game for the Stratfield St. Storm, looking for his fifth on the young season, right foot, set, shot, no. Misses to the right-hand side and should have done better with that. 3-5-23 to Inglehawk, 4-4-28, 17 gone, second term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo, thanks to score sponsor JB Restumping. Yes, it's been 1-3-3-1 three to three, one this quarter. Uh, Eagle Hawk have uh, hit the scoreboard with the in the positive way. Strath not quite as positive. Langford plays on. Langford plays on from Eagle Hawk from fullback. I'll give you a dollar every time I do that from now on, Joel. As the ball is in the uh, defensive zone for the borough. They'll send it wide. Good mark, Isley. Hands it off to Evans. Evans, oh, he's running around in circles. Had nowhere to go. He had no one forward of the ball. Mullen received the handball. He'll send it long. And uh, marking is Ron Chieri. Goes now. It's an up and under kick. It's a little bit awkward. But jumping high was Thompson. Thompson now inside forward 50. Has he got a target? He has. Running onto the footy was Evans. And he's been busy this afternoon. And he's only getting busier as he'll line them up for another one at goal. Yeah, it's probably the best game of football I've seen Billy Evans play for a couple of years. And... Uh, He's, uh, he's been doing everything, running, handballing, shepherding, giving his teammates every opportunity, and now they've given him a chance to uh, 
put a big one on the board. To the sheep wash creek end. Billy Evans gets underneath it, sprays it. Minor score. Both sides missing opportunities here this afternoon. We stay May Rue. Five point margin. Eagle Hawk, uh, six points in fact. Eagle Hawk lead, 18 minutes gone. Second term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. He's lived at that. Of course, the Hawks kicked the first two goals of this second term, and we've just traded between sort of five and six points since then. Long kick outside the defensive 50 from Shannon Geary is platted across the line by Clayton Holmes, and we'll have a throw in between the wing and left half forward for the Hawks. Yes, Holmes ran from the centre square there almost to the boundary uh, on the forward flank for uh, Strath just to uh, knock that ball out of bounds. Fresh Bendigo score update. Castlemine by 13 points over Golden Square. South by 7 over Kangaroo Flat. And Gisborne by 120 over Mirabar. And we're not at half time in any of those games as yet. Ball on the deck at the stoppage. Gee, uh, Ronchieri nearly copped one right in the beak for off the boot of Van Gogh. Been able to uh, do sort of Matrix style to avoid the kick. And it came into the centre of the ground for the Storm through King. Now to Blanford. Blanford up toward half forward. Nicely plucked out of the air by Sheehan. Turns immediately. Right foot kick. High footy to full forward. Gordon's there. Pulls it in. Malik Gordon read it nicely in front of the pack. And he's taken the mark. 30 out directly in front. Yes, he uh, took his eagle hook uh, opponent under the ball and was able to back back nicely and, uh, and take a good mark. So Malik Gordon hasn't kicked one as yet, had a chance in that opening term and couldn't convert. Let's see what he can do with this. He starts his approach from 51 metres out and he'll have to kick from about 40. Very slow and deliberate setup. Really promising young player and he loved that as soon as he let it go. He strikes it and likes it and ties things up at 40 or four goals, five apiece. 29 points, Eagle Hawk and Strathfield say cannot be split. 20 minutes played here in this second term. Really good footy, game of footy evolving at Tannery Lane. It lives at Fresh Bendigo and it's thanks to score sponsor Parsons Tile in Castle, Maine. Yes, it's been an excellent start to this second quarter. Both sides have been able to move the ball quick, but defences have put pressure on. There's been a lot of turnovers, and it's been a matter of who can make the most of their turnovers. A really enjoyable game of footy. I talked down round one with Eagle Hawk, but I'm talking this one up. Out of the middle, they'll win at Eagle Hawk again through Mullen, who's good. He gives it to Frost by foot. This is uh, uh, Bryce Frost. He goes inside forward 50, and he spots up Mullen, who ran on well for it. Mullen, short pass now. He's got a lead on. He's honoured it, and he's hit up Jaunty Neves. And Jaunty Neves should... Well, he's on a pretty tight angle, but the uh, distance won't be a problem. Jaunty Neves. Neves. Sheep wash creek end. What a fine addition he is after having a spell from Eagle Hawk back for season 2024. Let's see what he does with this footy. It's a left footer. It's making the goal umpire work, but I reckon he's got it. He has. So he's hit the scoreboard now. John T. Neves. So Eagle Hawk take the lead. It's 5-5-35. They lead the Storm 4-5-29 as we approach red time in this second term. Score sponsor, JB Restumping. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, once again, first use out of the centre from the centre bounce. It was Eagle Hawk that got it and uh, they were able to uh, <coughs> keep possession of the football with a couple of lovely pieces of play from Bryce Frost uh, onto Mullins and then onto Jonty Neve and uh, put another one on the board. So back in the middle, Braden Frost is there for the Hawks. It's taken away by his opposite ruck, though, in Simpson. Kick up toward half forward. Gobbled up by Mulquinney. Holmes almost fell over trying to man the mark then, just to comply with the stand rule. Mulquinney, short kick. Footy is in the hands of Harvey. Launches it inside the forward 50. A run at this from Gordon, who's emerging as a presence inside the arc for the Storm. And Malik Gordon's latched onto another one. He's 40 from home on a 45 degree angle left of centre. Yes, another good lead by uh, Malik Gordon there. Uh, he left uh, Oscar Madden behind and uh, Oscar Madden's got to get body on body in these contests. So Malik Gordon again, a slow and deliberate approach, looking to tie the scores up. 
after 23 minutes of play in this second term. For back-to-back -back goals for himself, for Strathfield, say, looking to squeeze that one in. He's done exactly that. Another assured set shot finish from the young forward. And the Storm answer straight back. We are trading goals here in this second term. And again, we're tied at 5-5-35 apiece. 23 played, second quarter. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Score sponsor, JB Restumping. And it's good to see that both sides are uh, using their uh, key forwards and uh, putting the ball out in front, letting them run onto it, and then uh, able to have easy set shots. Back in the middle we go. Simpson wins the tap, but he tip-tapped it straight down to Evans of the Burrows. Probably been their best. Sends it to half forward. Tracking the footy nicely will be Thompson. Received a handball. A bit of a tap there by Frost. Puts it in the path of Evans. Evans got time and space. Puts it on the boot, but it goes wide towards the boundary line. If Neves had his hands on the footy. And we're trying to get away with a shot at goal. It won't be. It'll be a ball in. Just metres around from goal. 35 apiece. All squared up. 24 minutes gone. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. And the umpire will spin it back into play. Left forward pocket for the Hawks. Simpson reaches over the top of Frost, taken by Ben Thompson, tackled by Wilson. Ronchieri has a play at it. Now Bryce Frost to Evans, left foot kick around the body, leading the race. The footy was dull. He's been good for Strathfield, say. And he takes the mark 20 metres out from his defensive goal. Scores tied at 5-5 apiece. 25 minutes played here in this second term. And the Storm can possess it outside the defensive 50. Harvey's got it. Chips it over the top, finds Clossy coming off a prolific cricket season, of course, with Strathdale Maristians, the Taylor Walsh medalist. Got it 45 out from his defensive goal. Clossy just takes his time. Now he kicks it down the line. They'll set themselves. Big pack forms. Langford do well for the Borough. Hands on footy. Sam Thompson grabbed it cleverly. Gave it off nicely. Oh, the Frost. He fumbled the footy. Causes a turnover. Ended up with Harvey of the Storm. He's looking for Shishka. Shishka caught out of position. Angove now mops up. He goes over to Borough for Thompson. Thompson, poor handball. Went to his brother. Now it might be another uh, turnover. They're diving in after the footy on the outer side. Stoppage. And just a couple of tight errors from both sides. 35 apiece. 26 minutes have almost gone in this second term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Scores tied out at uh, Dow Park as well. Kangaroo Flat and South Bendigo. 55 apiece. Chance for Mulquinney. He thumbed the handball up and then had to dive back on top of the footy. Inside the forward 50 for the Storm. Another stoppage. 26 minutes played. 5-5. 35. These two teams cannot be split. They met in a semi-final last season. They're both pushing for finals footy again this year. In the early stages of their 2024 campaign, Harvey's kick inside the forward 50, taken by Coomer on the bounce, and then Sheehan wrenched him into the turf and gave over away the shoulder. a free kick. Yeah. And so it'll be Carla Coomer to take it inside the defensive 50 for the Hawks. Flares his kick out wide, looking for Angove, who just got there in the nick of time. Plucked it out of the sky, went for a gallop, sends it inside the forward 50. Ronchieri's in good position, brought it down to himself. Bryce Frost there as well. 45 out from the Hawks goal now. Clossy waiting for it to come out. It's not going to. And we'll have a ball up. Hawks transition it. And now they've got an opportunity inside their front half. What a game we've got. I was going to say we've got the close one, but what's going on at Kangaroo Flat and South Bendigo? We've got a, a potential boil over as Evans, a little bit of a fresh airy. Wilson then picked it up for the Storm. Running side by side was Mark Cheesy. He goes long, but it's another turnover. Kicked it straight to Ango. Ango short pass. He gives it to Ben Thompson. Kicks it long inside forward 50. Good oh, good grab. It was taken by O'Shaughnessy of Eagle Hawk, and he'll line them up and needs to slot it just to take the lead back and go into half time with the momentum. And he'll kick after the siren. Just a soft siren too uh, at the 27 and a half minute mark, so not a long quarter. This would be handy, right on half time to the Sheepwash Creek end. The Borough, they've looked impressive up until half time. So have the Storm. He runs and punches the air as he kicks a goal. And they get to him, the Borough. 
because they'll extend the lead. It's a one goal straight margin. 6-5-41. Eagle Hawk lead the Storm. 5-5-35 in an entertaining first half. Score sponsor, Parsons Towing in Castlemaine. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Oh, what a great quarter of footy it was after we had three goals combined in the first half. Eagle Hawk kicked five goals, two in that second quarter. The Storm kicked three goals, three. And as John said, it is the Hawks by six points as we go to the main break. 6 5 41 to the Storm, 5 5 35. Two goals to Bailey Isley for the Hawks, two goals to Joel Mullen, singles to Neves, and that to O'Shaughnessy right on the half time siren for the Storm. Two to Shishka, one to Sheehan, and two goals in that term to Malik Gordon, who ran into some real form and uh, looked like he was presenting up at the ball really well. Plenty for both coaches to think about, plenty for both coaches to like from that first half of footy. Norm Jenkin, how have you seen it? It's been an excellent uh, excellent game of football. I think so far, uh, I just got Eagle Hawk there ahead on the scorebook, but also got them ahead on the ground because they've been able to stop the Storm attack and, uh, and make it difficult for the Storm to get it into their forward line on most occasions. When Storm have been able to get it in, uh, they've got it in nice and long and uh, I think that's the way they've got to go in the second half. They've got to uh, look to uh, put their heads down and, uh, and look for the long option, be it the, uh, the foot of the, uh, the forwards, because if not, Eagle Hawk at the other end stage looked uh, very dangerous uh, up there with uh, O'Sullivan, uh, O'Shaughnessy taking that lovely mark at the end. He stood back, he judged it, it nicely. Uh, when he's uh, on and off the ground, Darcy Richards has, has been a focal point up there too, as has Johnny Knees when they've gone forward. And it, it's just looking as though Eagle Hawk are going to have uh, a little bit too much uh, up forward uh, in the end of this game if uh, the Strath Storm don't use their heads and go for the long option instead of these short kicks into their forward line. Far too often it's been cut off. And you would, you would almost think that uh, Billy Evans and um, Bryce Frost, uh, Braden Frost have been playing together for years, the way that uh, they read each other uh, in the uh, Ruckman do his rover. It's been excellent to watch, not only in the Ruck contest, but uh, when there's been uh, marking contests or loose balls. Uh, Frost needs to be able to find uh, Evans, and Evans is having a blinder of the game. And uh, that's where the improvement for me has come since the round one, Norm, the game that we did see out at famous Canterbury Park. Um, Kuma, he was a little bit quieter in that second term, but he continued on his good form. But you're right with Billy Evans. He's just taken it to that next level, and the ability to keep his feet when um, he's under pressure, that's probably been a bit of a difference. Also, Joel Mullen as well, providing more so an unlikely target down forward because Isley last week uh, or well, the week before we seen him take a couple of clunkers down forward and he was a bit quiet in that second term but he's been offering that target as well but to me they just seem a lot sharper they seem on their game and completely different in comparison to what I saw a dis disorganised borough side in round one so really looking forward to seeing what they can bring to the table a little bit of concern for Darcy Richards spent a little bit of time here he had a long oh, conversation no. with the physios, didn't he? Well, yeah. I was watching him um, at one stage. He was actually coughing into a tissue and looking, well, I assume, for what could only be blood. Yeah. But uh, he didn't look distressed at all, but he was talking to the trainer and he was pointing to that, that sternum area uh, where your chest is. But um, no need to be alarmed, I don't think, because he just... He didn't seem, as I said, uh, that he was any great distress, but certainly there was something of concern there. But uh, they had, I reckon they had three long conversations at various points in the boundary line here, but um, he, uh, he looked like he wanted to go back on just before half-time, yeah. so hopefully it won't, uh, won't be anything of any great concern. He told Trav Madsen that he was right to go, so uh, that might be a positive sign for, for Darcy Richards and Eagle Hawk. A few scores from around the place before we go to a break here at half-time. It is a six-point lead to Eagle Hawk, courtesy of a Sam O'Shaughnessy goal right on the half-time bell. Uh, down at Gardner Reserve in Gisborne. And of course, uh, no reserves today for Mirabara. No A-grade netball and no contest in the seniors. Half-time, 23 goals, 9. 147 Gisborne to Mirabara 1-3-9. So the margin at half-time is 138 points. Don Bradman. The way of Gisborne, absolutely. That is going to be a cricket score down there this afternoon, just like it was this time last year when Maribor ventured to 
Garden Reserve. South Bendigo lead Kangaroo Flat by five points at half time at Dower Park. The Roos are 8 8 56. The Bloods are 10 1 61. So 16 scoring shots to 11. South Bendigo lead by five points, but. Uh, Gee, had they not kicked straight, it could be Kangaroo Flat in charge in that ball game. Down at Camp Reserve, it's a low-scoring game. It is Castlemaine 3-5-23 to Golden Square 2-7-19. That is at half-time. Goals to Hartley, Hickey and Chester for the Magpies, to Rosengren and to Burke for the Dogs. And here at half-time, it is Eagle Hall 6-5-41. They lead Strathfield, say, 5-5-35. Second half is not too far away. It's round three in Bendigo footy, and it lives right here at Fresh Bendigo.
It is half time here at Tannery Lane in Stratfield, say, and it is a great game of footy, a really entertaining second quarter. Eagle Hawk 6541 leads Stratfield, say, 5535 at the main change, courtesy of a Sam O'Shaughnessy goal right on the half time siren. Joel Peterson, Norm Jenkins, John Hunter with you. Great to have you with us on 1015. Throughout Central Victoria, streaming online wherever you are right around the world. Or if you're uh, with us through the BFNL's Match of the Day stream via streamer, great to have you with us this afternoon. We'll run you through a couple of the scores around the place in Bendigo footy as well. Goal kickers here to half-time. Joel Mullins got two. Bailey Islesley got two for the Hawks. O'Shaughnessy and Neves have the others for the Storm. Malik Golden kicked two. Both of them came in that term. James Shiska kicked one in the first, one in the second. And Abe Sheehan kicked one in the opening term. Who do you like from the Storm's perspective in this first half, Norm? Well, in the first half, uh, especially uh, the first quarter, uh, died out a little bit in the second quarter, but Shannon Geary had an excellent uh, first quarter. Uh, also, Daniel Clossy, they've both been very good uh, in the first half. Uh, Malik Gordon, especially in that second quarter, has uh, uh, given them an option up forward and... and been very lively. Uh, Abe Sheehan got his goal early but uh, has also had plenty of possessions up forward. George Simpson in the ruck uh, got into it a little bit against Frost in that second quarter. Uh, got a number of first uses but uh, it uh, hasn't been a dominant performance by him and uh, Charlie Dole also has, has done very well out of defence so uh, you know the Storm will be looking for more from those They'll be looking for uh, another good quarter from Harvey. Cooper Jones to get back into it, died out a little bit that quarter. Benny Lester's been very good uh, down back and uh, held a number of Eagle Hawk attacks up. So, uh, there's a lot to like about the Storm side, but as I said, uh, going into the break, they've got to look to kick the ball a bit longer and not try to possess it as much because that's when they've lost the football during that first half. Absolutely. We're here thanks to our sponsors, Parsons Towing, Castlemaine, Bendigo City Framers, JB Restumping and Jason Westcott Builder and match day sponsor, Bendigo Truck Centre, who are looking after us superbly here this afternoon. Second half is underway. It is Eagle Hawk 6541 to the Stratfield Say Storm 5535 as we go into it. And immediately it's Joel Mullen who roves it off the hand of Braden Frost and clears for the Hawks up toward half forward. Taken by Jones of the Storm. Handball back to Reinheimer. Kicks up and down the line shaft toward the wing. Play on it from Gordon. Spills to their feet. Shannon Geary burrows his way through. And he's ridden into the turf by Mullen. He's a marvel. Shane Geary just continues to deliver. Four-time Premiership player for this Stratfield Say Storm team. Have been so successful since entering the Bendigo Footy League in 2009. Have the Storm just uh, a model of consistency. We'll get another opportunity to go at it here. Ball on the wing. Simpson and Frost to go up in ruck. Simpson reaches up. Frost is there as well. Spilt to McGregor. He was tackled. Had a couple of storms affronting him. And J.D. Jackson Lay takes the free kick at half back for the Stratfield. Say Storm. It's short and finds Sue. He had a couple of good presentations in that first half. He goes defensively to Gill. Gill comes now to Ratcliffe, who sends it wide. That is a beautiful kick. Oh, found uh, his teammate there. That was an awkward one for Featherby, who slipped through a tackle and might have just got clipped on the way through. So Ethan Featherby has got the footy. Left foot kick into the centre of the ground. Neatly measured for Shannon Geary, who takes the mark just in front of the centre circles. Loads up on the right boot. Sends it inside the 50 towards Shishka. Can't take the mark. Kuma's there at their feet. Knocks it back towards Shishka. Evans squeezes the kick out of this, the immediate danger area. Gordon's there for the storm, rides the bump of his former pioneers teammate in Kuma, picked up by Gill, pokes it to the pocket for the storm, back inside the 50, Evans for the Hawks, he has a play at it, King's there for the storm, Braden Frost for the Hawks, handball outside the defensive 50, Gordon gets a hold of Kuma, rips him into the grass, and then wants to go on with it a little bit as well, they're having fun those two. Over the ball up at left half forward. Frantic start to this third turn. Umpire throws it up. Up they'll go up in the ruck. Frost wins the tap as well. Again, swooping on the footy. Clossy 
goes for the storm. He'll send it wide. Leicester running with a fly to the 40. Then he hands it off to Blanford. Blanford will spread it further wide to the pocket. Probably should have settled, I reckon, because Clayton Holmes did well. Got a punch in there for the borough. Now the ball kicked long to half forward. Neves ran onto it. He'll have a bounce. He ran a long way. He'll run inside forward 50. How far is he going to run? Umpire lets him go. Go it! And it's a minor score. Jeez, I want to be buying real estate off that umpire, I tell you, as it's a minor one. We go to 5.535 to 6.642. Three minutes gone. Third term, local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. It's almost the biggest lead the Hawks have had in the, had in the game. The margin for either side hasn't been any higher than eight points so far in this contest. It's been played in really close confines, which has been... Good fun for us uh, watching on, that's for sure. As the Storm bring it back into play. Clossy. He chips it short and wide. Ratcliffe. He didn't juggle that inside the field of play, according to the umpire. Lucky Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe, one of a, a handful of Premiership players out there for the Storm. Matt Harvey. Lucky Gill. Ben Lester's played in a couple. Geary's played in four. And Ratcliffe played in the one as well. Ball spun back in on the outer side. Clossy with the clearance to Blanford. Kicks down the line. That's a really nice delivery. And sliding in is Charlie King just in front of the scoreboard and only a pace inside the boundary line on the outer side. Well, they overpossessed last time they were in the forward zone and coughed it up the storm. Let's see what they can do with this entry. Shishka is the target. Got one hand on it. Harvey robed the footy from that one hand and a short pass, maybe a little bit fortunate, fell with Abe Sheen, but they'll take it. And on a pretty tight angle, hard up against the fence, we'll have a shot at goal. Abe Sheen will look to go around the corner and he's kicked the goal. He knew it straight away as soon as he hit it for his second. So the Storm, they needed that one. Back to a one-point margin now. It's 6-6-42 to 6541. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo score sponsor Parsons Towing in Castle Main. And for mine that was a better entry into the forward 50 by Strath. Uh, young Charlie King kicked the ball in long, put the ball on the head. Shishka was able to make a contest, get it to ground and uh, and then that was an excellent goal by Abe Sheehan around the corner. Knew as soon as he hit it that it was a goal. Six goals, three goal kickers for the Storm. They've all got two and three youngsters in uh, she and Shishka and Gordon have uh, got among the goal kickers. Goes up in the middle and we'll do it all again. Thanks to Wayne Smith for his updates. It was Pyramid Hill by 11 points over Morong at quarter time in the Lodden Valley League. And at half time, it's a 14 point lead to Morong. 8 6 to 6 4 40. So a good game out there at Malone Park. Across half forward here, the Storm Seal got trapped. And he had nowhere to go with the footy. Grabbed by Kuma, and we'll have a free kick to the dashing Hawks defender. He's got it right on the paint of the defensive 50. Hawks by a point, driving kick up the line, reaching up with Simpson, couldn't bring it in. Has a play at ground level for Strathfield, say. So tried to handball it free to Shannon Geary. Making his way to the contest was Clossy, whips the handball wide, pinched by Mullen of the Hawks. He drives it to half forward, good kick, finds Islesley, 60 metres from home at left half forward for the Hawks. Rolls immediately, darts the kick inside. Athletic take from Featherby, really nice intercept, comes across the defensive 50, finds Mulquinney. He'll play on quickly, he'll kick it forward and find Jones. Jones looking to bring it down the broadcast side. Jones, short pass forward, but let it bounce with Sheen. Tried to collect it, kept it in cleverly. Then he runs inboard. He centers the ball. An aggressive kick finds Harvey. Harvey smack bang in the middle. Now he'll go to half forward. He's got a lead on through Shishka. Shishka marks it in front of the eyes. Turns and wheels and goes and puts it in the path of Blanford. Blanford, a dinky, awful little kick over the top. I don't think it went the required distance, but umpire said yes, umpire it did. Yes. What do I know about that? He'll play on quickly, will be Gill. Now long, high to the goal square, minor score. And that, uh, what have we got here? Square it's again. Square again. 6-6-42 six, six, apiece. Seven minutes gone. Third term, local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Three behinds today for Lockie Gill. Oh, he's been busy, just hasn't been able to find that major opening. And thanks to Chris Bagley down at the Den, Harcourt, 8 2 Denali, 4 7 31. So the Hawks bring it back into play. He measured the pass nicely. Evans is onto it. Billy Evans at 
left half back. The captain kicks in field for Mullen. Mullen down the line. Neat user by foot most of the time. That's no exception. McGregor's got it for the Hawks. Pokes it over the top to Bennett. So just willing to build the footy up patiently here. Eagle Hawk. Bryce Frost's got it. He's attacking side of the wing on the Strathfield say road side of the ground. Jabs his kick inside the forward 50. And Jones intercepts easily. And play either end, Cooper Jones. He's playing his trade in defence this season for the Storm. And the, the long sleeve, navy and white hoops. Clossy across half back. Kicks to a one on two. McQuitty had to go up. Holmes was there. Good aerialist. Brought it down to McGregor. McGregor's handball to O'Brien. He shares it back with Holmes. Low kick inside forward 50. Looking for O'Shaughnessy. Geary nudged him off the football. Clossy with it inside defensive 50 for the Storm. Handball to Dole. Dangerous quick across the defensive 50 to another one on two. Sock it off the ground by Blanford. Straight back into trouble. Picked up by Richards. 45 from home. Little one over the top to Mullen. They made such hard work of that Strathfield say. And they might pay for it. Joel Mullen's got a chance to kick his third. He's 10 in from the boundary line. He's 30 from home. Yes, and both sides have made those mistakes this quarter, Joel. Uh, Eagle Hawk, their build up to that situation had been good. Then they lost it. And then Strath, they've lost it. He's not a big goal kicker, Joel Mullen. He can go forward and hit the scoreboard when the opportunity presents. He's kicked two already today for his third. No. That one's across the face in the words of Ron Rogers and is a minor score. 6 7 43 to 6 6 42. Nine played, third term. Great game of footy here at Tannery Lane. Hope you're enjoying it on Fresh Bendigo. Shannon Geary will bring it in for the storm. He'll kick it in from fullback. Plays on, runs his distance. Then sing, sends it long and high to the outer side. Shishka was the target. He was at the back of the pack. In fact, it was Cooper Jones. Did very well. They'll move it through the middle now. Getting on the end of it was Wilson. Short pass inside, forward 50. Sheen getting involved. Now it's going to be a turnover. Sam Thompson picks it up. Nervous handball over the top. Time and space. It was a long kick there by Holmes. Holmes of Eagle Hawk puts it out to the outer side. Handball over the top. Jones received again, short pass, and he hits up Charles Dole. So Dole's got it, back edge of the centre square. Tried to measure the kick in field to Wilson, pinched by Holmes of the Hawks. Holmes inside the 50. O'Shaughnessy <coughs> marks right on the chalk of the arc. What's he got inside the 50? Richards being held off the ball, free kick. This is going to be a free kick, and I reckon it's going to be to Strathfield say on the defensive 50 against Darcy Richards. So Richards was holding on to Dole in the goal square and so the free kick will come to half back. Lester gives it off to Shannon Geary if you can make sense of all that because Geary's now kicked it to Gordon and he's away. He's away, it's a short pass, it's effective. He spotted up a teammate, that was okay, doing well as much easy. A short pass, oh, oh good strong tackle by Kuma. That all sounding and getting well, Bolger, but it's too high, a little bit over uh, zealous. Malik Gordon now, plays on, he goes long and he goes high. They'll set themselves in the goal square, Frost. I reckon he's taken a screamer. The big ruckman did very well, and Braden Froster will relieve some pressure down there for the borough. That's a good defensive mark. Chip short to Langford. Uh, do you reckon Malik Gordon's grown about 15 centimetres and put on about 10 kilos since we saw him last <laughs> year? He just seems like a <laughs> mess today. Last week. He's, uh, he's a big, big boy, and he just doesn't seem like he was the same size at the back end of last year. Now the Hawks come back the other way. Richards takes a good mark. Coming over the top of Dole. 75 from home for the Hawks. On the right foot, Richards high inside the 50. Olsley with a run. Oh, almost dragged it in. Ratcliffe was onto him immediately. Thrown to ground is Bailey Osley. Spilled to the ground inside forward 50 for the Storm. Geary's just so clean with it. Outlets to Blanford. Comes off half back. Kicks looking for Sheen. Knocked it away from Bolger. Bolger first back to it. Draw supporting Mullen. Two on one to the Hawks. Mullen goes between the legs. He nutmegged himself to pick it up. To James, to Mullen. Socketed out of bounds on the fall. Reflex catch from the Hawks bench, but it'll be a free kick to the Storm. Sheehan takes it and darts it in field. I like him. He's a classy player, but he's put his teammates under pressure with his kick into the middle. Sweeping on it was Thompson. Probably got one too high. It's Ben Thompson. Umpire said no. I'm going to ball it up. So halfway between the centre and half forward. 
for Eaglehawk. Frost doing the ruck work against Leicester. The ball spills. Contested footy. Getting involved. McGregor for Eaglehawk. Picked up nicely. James of the Storm. Spreads it wide. Out of side wing. There's no one there. Madden by hand. To Evans. To the back door. Sharing it around nicely. Ends up with Holmes. Holmes defensive side of the centre circles. Here at Tannery Lane. He's got a player on. He'll honour it. O'Sullivan received. In fact, it was Bolger. He goes long. O'Sullivan was in the air and coughed it up and kicked it straight to Shannon Geary. Turnover. Costly. And... Uh, what do you got to do, Joel? It's just, it's the one thing that's letting them down at the moment, the Hawks. They've got so much the footy norm, their entries inside the 50, just leaving a bit to be desired. Yes, they've got to start to do what I said Strat should do. They've got to put the ball up in the air and let their big men go for it again, like they did in the second quarter. Jones at half back, chips it over the top to Harvey. Saunters off the flank with a bounce, kicks down the line. It's a lovely delivery as well. And they built this up nicely. Mulquinney's got it for Strathfield's sake. He chips it out wide. On the bounce to the overlap run of Harvey. Collects in stride. Kicks to half forward. Gill marks 55 from home. He's got options across the forward 50. He whips the kick centrally and finds Blanford. Beautiful delivery. And Patrick Blanford running back toward goal. He's marked 40 from home directly in front. That was good uh, gut running from Patrick Blanford then. He was in the centre square, saw the option and, uh, and ran to space. Hurts though, Norm, doesn't it? Classic yeah. two-goal turnaround, isn't it? So the Hawks took the lead back early in the second quarter. Paddy Blanford's got a chance to pinch it back for the Storm. He jabs at it and leaves it right. And again, we are tied away at 43. 6-7 apiece, halfway through this third term. Terrific game of footy here at Tannery Lane. Terrific game at Dower Park too, Johnny. A fresh Bendigo score update. Kangaroo flat lead South Bendigo, 10-8 to 10-1. Gee whiz, could we have an upset brewing over there? Is it too early to call a draw here? Seems it's close to Anzac Day, Joel. It's just got that feel about it. Sam Thompson just looked at me and said, you're an idiot, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> he said that to me many a time. Don't you worry about it as the ball goes inside forward 50. Now for the borough. Neves collects. He's got Richards on, pinpoints him. He should have played on and does. He almost stepped over the line, but just eased up and poked it through, which what, what seemed to like a pretty easy goal compared to what uh, they've been up against uh, for the majority of this third term. So they take the lead. I thought it was going to be a draw. Uh, well, it's still where go. <laughs> well, it still could be. Just watch this spike. 7 7 49 6 6 43 score sponsor, JB Restumping, local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo, and I yet have, might have the last laugh there, Norm. You may well do there, uh, John, but uh, another good passage of play by Eagle Hawk. As we said, they uh, had to get the ball in long. They did that. Two long kicks there, and uh, Darcy Richards on the, on the end of it in the goal square. Oh, Sam Thompson, Johnny, uh, Norm, he's just waiting to come back on. Johnny says it's going to be a draw, and he's whipped his head around in disbelief. <laughs> he go, what are you talking about? It's halfway through the third quarter, for God's sake. I called it earlier, <laughs> not early. Here is Thompson. He's glad that he's back out on the ground. Kicks out toward Osala Ronquier. He couldn't take it. That's a high tackle. He just kicked uh, James a little bit high. In fact, it's Riley Wilson. He's been quiet today. Yeah, quite by his usual standards. He's been doing all the tough stuff, but hasn't seen a lot of the footy. He saw a bit of it early and maybe a little bit less prolific than we would see. Normally, this man's been just his usual self. Shannon Geary off a step, punches it inside the forward 50. Kuma came up to meet it. Roving it nicely was Marchese. Handball behind himself to Jack to Jackson Way, he couldn't keep it alive. Good tackle laid by Gordon, and a ball up. Inside forward 50 for the Storm. Margins are kicked the way of Eagle Hawk. We're 16 and a half through the third. One straight goal, the difference. Ball is in dispute. It'll now emerge. Sheen, handball. He went to uh, Jackson Lay. Couldn't quite get it. Now a hurried kick out there. It was a turnover for Eagle Hawk into the middle. And it'll turn over back the other way through Dole. Geez, they're mucking around with it here in the middle. Turnovers afoot. Series of handballs. Ends up with Jackson Lay again. He got coloured. Collared. Hurried kick. They set themselves across half forward. Clossy, a sweeping handball into space. 
running after me James he looks slow and tired short pass probably not the required deep distance Ryan Harmer he goes long oh big jump from the back of the pack it spills to the front they'll share it around here the storm Clossy getting involved on the end of it as Gill goes goal to the line off hand Madden gets one there for the borough and puts it through for a minor score. 6 8 44, 7 7 49 the borough, 17 and a half gone, third term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. And what a lovely kick in from full back, it's found centre wing. Yeah, just driven in, and immediately they're able to move it, the Hawks, and try and build something back the other way. O'Shaughnessy to Evans, the run of Bulger through left half forward, darts it to the edge of the 50, an awkward one for Richards, bounced off his shin, numbers still there for the Hawks, Bulger's dragged off it, free kick holding the ball. The Storm defence holds up, Mulquinney and Jake Moorhead's old number 10, making it look pretty good as it has for many a year at the moment. Kicks down the line and the man who Norman and I hadn't spotted in a quarter and a half, Riley Wilson's had two kicks in 30 seconds. He's turned that one over. Clayton Holmes comes bursting back the other way with a bounce for the Hawks. Drops it inside the forward 50. Neves from a mile back. Didn't give away the free. Couldn't touch it in the fly. Dole's there for the Storm. Handball to Jones. Handball defensively to Featherby and they run it out of half back. He'll put it in the path of Shishka. Shishka runs onto it. Now goes Central Corridor. hossie has been good this afternoon. He's got a player on him, Sheen. He's clever. Let's see what he does on the boundary line. He gets collared. And it might be a ball in right in front of the uh, trainer's box there. I think it's going to be a ball up. Could not going to be a ball up. Ball up. Yeah. Trying to look through a tin shed, Johnny. <laughs> that tin shed's going to be gone this week too, they tell me. It's the old interchange stewards uh, shed. Oh, actually, were you joking or not? No. No, I am. No. It's, it's, it's going to be good. Oh, there you go. They tried to get rid of it today for us because they knew it would be in the way, but no, it's going to be gone. over it with the truck, then we'll be rough. Right, let's get back to the footy, Shannon. Geary spreads it wide to the outer side. It's Ratcliffe, now of the storm. Poor kick. Turnover, Mullen swoops on it, handballs to the back door to Clayton Holmes, short pass forward, finds Mulquinney, he fumbled, under pressure, had time, hits up Evans in the middle, Evans now, sweeping wide handball, he's got a player on, oh good tackling Ratcliffe, Ango gets involved, throw, it is if the umpire says it is and it is Norm, so it'll go to Ratcliffe free kick. Is it going to, is it going the other way? No, no, it's going to Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe of the storm. So lucky Ratcliffe. He's got it. Defensive side of the centre. This has been a really good game of footy since quarter time. It was pretty abject at times in that first quarter. It was, but no, but an excellent sense and it, it's continuing down the same path. It's burst into life and it may not be the most high scoring game of all time, but these two teams are trading blows. Off half back, Gill. He's had a snack of it again today. G. Clossy's handballs missed the target. And the Hawks will pounce on the turnover. Neves got it or looked to get it from Bennett, but Bennett's kick was overcooked. Jones shows them a cool pair of heels. Able to outlet to Harvey, who's got it at left half back. In front of the interchange bench for or the, the bench for Eagle Hawk. 7 7 the borough, 6 8 the storm. Into time on in this third term. High kick up the line from Harvey. King sits under it, can't take the mark. And it'll be tossed back into play. Centre wing broadcast side, 7-7 to 6-8. Round three in Bendigo footy. Serving up a treat here at Tannery Lane. And it's it's hard to see, Norm, which way this will unfold from here. Yes, it's, uh, it's certainly an arm wrestle from both sides. But uh, Eagle Hawks seem to have the better of the football uh, when it's going forward. But... Strath defence holding firm at present. Free kick Bennett now for Eagle Hawk on the wing broadcast side. Short pass, he's got Ango. Just marks in front of the line for out of bounds on the full. Did he pay it? He's given he's paid the mark, he blew the whistle. I was yeah. say that sarcastic laugh and clap Kurt, brought to you by Riley Wilson. We <laughs> heard an our effects mic right in front of us. I think it is going to be a throw in here in the end. Well, the umpire might Just have blown for the boundary the, the umpire. Boundary, um, the boundary umpire gave it the all clear as a mark originally. That's not his call, unfortunately. No. Let's reset. Now let's take a moment to do a fresh Bendigo score update. We're at 200 points. Gisborne 34-10, 214 to Miraburra, 139. We're only in the third quarter there. Kangaroo Flat lead uh, South Bendigo by 14. And Golden Square lead Castlemaine by 2. It'll be Eagle Hawk now through O'Brien. 
into the middle in the path of Holmes. Holmes lets it bounce, then a little handball wider. He's got a player in support in Bolger. Bolger short pass to the outer side wing. She's there moving it nicely now. The Eagle Hawk Borough. Sam Thompson on the end of a short pass. Short pass forward. Hits up his brother Ben Thompson. Slowing down the footy. It was a chess mark. Halfway between the centre and half forward. Now he goes in the pocket. Poor kick turnover. Mark Ratcliffe for the storm. How many times have we seen that here in this term? And yes, built the footy up nicely and let themselves down with the delivery. It should have been a deeper entry into the 50 then. Richards was waiting for it. Not sure. It's kind of like the, the postal service norm. They wrap your package up, they put the stamp on it, then it gets sent to the wrong house. Yes. Sort of misses the whole point. Lester is Jones. He had what, 36 and 14 last week. He's on track for that again. Just on those uh, the Premier Data stats as well. Lockie Gill last week had 43 disposals. He was one of a few Storm players who had in the vicinity of 40. 398 disposals last week for Stratfield, say. 130-odd marks. They just uh, they use the ball so well when they're up and going. But they do use plenty of it. Gill, short kick, looking for Sheehan. Made him work for it. Hawks take over. McGregor. Handball at left half forward. Bennett sets after it. Angove's there as well to provide support. So too Ronchieri. It spills out after the tackle. Now Angove's got to play it. He's 65 from home. Jams it on the boot. Cut off. Poor storm defence. Dangerous kick inside the back 50. Ratcliffe's there. So too Clossy. Ratcliffe's handball bounces the wrong way for his teammate. Reinheimer gets back there for the storm. Flicks it over his head in a bit of a panic. Jackson Lay did well though. He outletted without any panic at all and found Mulquinney, who's at right half back. Shut a short pass forward looking for Harvey. Harvey got one under the ear from Ango over the burrow. It'll be cause a turnover. Evans, little handball back to Ango over there, sharing it around and now it'll be a long kick forward. Lester underneath the ball. He was brave. Dish it off a handball. He found his teammate in Reinheimer as the siren sounds. Not a very loud uh, siren out here at Tannery Lane, but we have got a close one on our hands here at three quarter time. The borough they lead 7 7 49 to the storm 6 8 44. It was only a short quarter, too, just running the 24 minutes, so it uh, didn't go for very long. Only the two goals kicked in it after we had five goals to Eagle Hawk and three to the Stratfield Say Storm in the second term. Just the two goals combined in that third quarter. And we have absolutely got a game in our hands as we turn for home. Eagle Hawk by five points heading into three-quarter time. Two goals to Bailey Isley, two goals to Joel Mullen, singles to Neves, to Richards and to O'Shaughnessy for the Storm. Their six goals all kicked in pairs. Abe Sheehan, James Shishka and Malik Gordon each with two. It was billed as what could be an absolute classic in round three of Bendigo footy. It is panning out that way. It's been a terrific game so far. Quarter to go at Tannery Lane. Eagle Hawk 7-7. Seven, seven. Storm 6-8. Round three in Bendigo footy. It lives right here at Fresh Bendigo.
Returning for more live footy, Footy Fresh is Bendigo Footy Live. Oh, we love local footy, especially on days like this. Three-quarter time here at Tannery Lane, and it is a five-point lead to Eagle Hawks. 7 7 49 to the Strathfield Say Storm, 6-8-44. It's only early in the season, but it's second versus third. These two teams with top four aspirations, and they are playing out an enthralling duel this afternoon. Eagle Hawk by five as we turn for home. No one's got more than two goals in the game. The lead for either team has been no bigger than eight points throughout. That was to Eagle Hawk. They kicked the first eight points of the game. They led by that at the eight-minute mark of the opening term. It's the biggest spread we have had in the contest so far. Joel Peterson, Norm Jenkins, John Hunter with you. Great to have your company on 101.5 and uh, all throughout Central Victoria, wherever you're streaming us as well via the Community Plus and the TuneIn Radio apps. We'll run you through the scores in Bendigo footy very shortly. Johnny for the Hawks, who uh, who's in their better players for three-quarter time and in contention for our Best on Ground award thanks to our sponsors, Bendigo City Framers. Wow, for a three-quarter performance, Billy Evans just has been superb this afternoon. And if they're going to win this game, he's going to have to do the same in the uh, final term. But in that third term, I thought Bolger came into it a lot more as well. Um, I'm really enjoying the, the game of some of the lesser lights. Getting their hands on the footy, Bennett and Rouse and Ango, those types, and uh, Bryce Fo uh, Frost, particularly in that first part of that third uh, third quarter, really good. But Clayton Holmes coming off half back, getting important possessions, bouncing the footy and spotting up players down forward. And uh, they're just uh, going inside forward 50. He probably hasn't offended as much as some of the others, but uh, that's probably the only thing letting them down. He's been uh, he's been a valuable addition, that's for sure. Normie, the Storm, the three-quarter time. Yeah, they're, they're better players. They're best players for me Come so on, far. He's had a three-quarter effort. Is uh, Shannon Geary. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Dole, Lockie Ratcliffe came into it in that third quarter. And, uh, Cooper Jones and Matt Harvey have uh, also uh, had plenty of the football through the midfield. And H Sheehan up, up forward has been very lively at ground level, uh, roving the scraps uh, left to him when the ball's been sent in high to the likes of uh, Shiska and Gordon. Pre-game you took Eagle Hawk, are you sticking with it? Yes. Pre-game, you took Stratfield, say, so sticking with it. Absolutely. All right, I took the borough, and I'm, I'm happy to... A draw. Happy to stick with that. Around the grounds in Bendigo footy, three-quarter time scores around the place. Gisborne by, wow, 213 points over Meribara. Kangaroo flat by 14 over South Bendigo, and Castlemaine are back in front at the Camp Reserve. They lead Golden Square by five. Here, it is Eagle Hawk by five over Stratfield say. 7-7 seven, seven to 6-8. The margin hasn't been any greater than 8 throughout the contest. It's been a great day of footy here at Tannery Lane. One more quarter to bring us home. Here's John Hunter on Bendigo's Fresh Don't FM. Don't go anywhere as an anti-climax to the start of this term. It's going to be a free kick awarded by the boundary umpire for an infringement. It goes to Frost. Handball to Evans. They'll go inside forward 50. Set themselves. Richards was the target. Mullen probably got collared. In fact, it uh, wasn't Mullins, it was uh, O'Sullivan. And a free kick will go to the Storm and it'll go the way of Dole, who's been pretty good this afternoon. Absolutely, he has. Made senior debut last year against Eagle Hawk in round five. Child Dole. Good kick out wide, Jackson Lay. Finds King. One of the youngsters in this Storm side. Down the line looking for Harvey, who can't take in the mark. And it goes out of play. Charlie King from Wurunine. He's still eligible for the under-18s this season for Strathfield, say. So too is Jackson Lay. So this young, sort of next-generation Storm team holding their own against the Hawks this afternoon. Ball spun back into play. Gill has a play at it. He wraps up Joel Mullen. It's been Gill and Mullen or Clossie and Evans in the middle. So far for their two respective teams. This time Gill, the clearing kick. Harvey on the end of it. He tried to toe poke it forward. Oh, Shishka, lightning hands to Blanford, who couldn't steady on the finish. Left it away to the right. And a minor score. The rapid fire fingers of James Shishka with the handball over his head. Margin back to four points to start this final term. We're a minute and a half in. And down at the den, it's Harcourt uh, 9660 to... Denali 5 9 39 in the MCD for now. Clayton Holmes will kick it in for the borough. Plays on from full back. Runs his full measure. Then short pass hard up against the line, which was neat. Spots up a teammate. They're just slowing it down a little bit. It was O'Sullivan. 
Short pass forward. Spots up Ben Thompson. Ben Thompson out of side. Defensive 50. Hard up against the fence. Short pass to Mullen. Made him work. He had to jump over the top of Glossy. Causes a turnover. Picked up there by uh, James. James, a long, high ball. They'll set themselves. Madden dropped the mark. He should have taken for the Borough. Whistle on play. Too high. Too high. Then grab Daddy Gordon. Just uh, the old horse collar tackle. Kicked up toward half forward. Langford. Handball forward. Rouse takes it for the Hawks. Grabbed by Gordon. He's in trouble. He's gone. Holding the ball, free kick, another one for Malik Gordon. At left half forward, 70 from home. He stabs the kick into the pocket. Who's he got on the end of it? Shishka with the plan, it couldn't collect it. Hawks in defensive 50, Langford, Ben Thompson just barrels it outside the defensive 50, up toward Braden Frost. It'll come back in, Simpson, his handball to McGregor. In fact, it's Ronchieri, he threw it. Wasn't a handball at all. And Frost will take the free kick from the centre for the Hawks. It was a right call. He kicks it to a contest. Spills to the front of the back. It'll be a turnover now. Ends up with Gill. Received a handball of the Storm. He's got Harvey on. Harvey too far out to score. A good two kicks. Short pass forward. Hits up Shishka on the chest. And Shishka is close enough if he's good enough. Shishka now. He wheels. He doesn't go for goal. He looks for Riley Wilson. Keeps his feet. Used his body. Or just bounced cruelly. Then he picked it up and went back into his bread basket. Gave it to Harvey who slammed it through. Oh, they got there somewhere in the end. A couple of little errors that ended up fortunate. Didn't matter. As they take the lead, the Storm, they go to 7-9-51 leading 7-7-49. Opening stages of this final term. Score sponsor, JB Restumping. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. But once again, as I've been saying since half-time for Strath, the long kick in, benefit <coughs> from it, get the ball to ground and then let the, ball, the small fellas go to work and that's benefited them there. It was a lovely long kick in by, uh, by Harvey and he ended up coming back and, uh, and getting the goal from a handball. So third lead change of the game. First time the Storm have had the advantage here in the second half. We were tied four times in the second quarter. And now it is Strathfield say back ahead by two. Terrific game of footy here at Tannery Lane. Hope you're joining it on Bendigo's Fresh FM. Bounces off the head of Braden Frost in the ruck. Free kick is paid and it will go the way of the Hawks. Who kick to the Sheepwash Creek end here in this final turn. The left of your radio dial. Ben Thompson loads up, sends it inside the forward 50. Fly coming over the top from Richards, couldn't take it. Dole had it and lost it for the Storm inside the defensive 50. Richards on the paint of the arc now, slips the tackle, kick away. High footy into the pocket, Harvey working hard as a two-way runner. Takes the mark, sprawling in the back pocket for the Storm. Chips it into the pocket, awkward one for Jones, made him work for it, handball back to Harvey, now back to Ratcliffe, off a step around the body, Richards knocks it away, good defensive work inside the forward 50 for the Hawks, and we'll get a stoppage at the junction of the 50 in the boundary, right half forward, Hawks into attack, they trail by two. Yes, it's drilled into Strath that you've got to go short coming out of defence, they had two players clear on the, on the back flank if they'd have gone long. That'll be Isley into the ruck now for the Borough. It'll be the Storm, though, that clear from half-back. Now a bouncing ball, Sheen collected. He handball it, another turnover. Kuma picks it up there for the Borough. He'll send it inside, forward 50. Neve's got hands on the football. Then he was good enough, and a hurry kick around the body. He collected the ball somehow. Put it uh, wide. His target was Frost. Comes off hands. In fact, it might be out of bounds on the full. That is. And now it's a free kick. It ends up with Jones, and Jones will go long for the Storm. Yeah, Jones stabs it outside. Oh, it's dropped on the outer side there by his teammate. That might have been Featherby who put it down, and it goes over the line for a throw-in between the wing and half forward. About 70 out from that Eagle Hawk goal. They trail by two points. They kick the first goal of the game, Eagle Hawk. Storm led for the majority of that first term. The lead seesawed in the second quarter. It's been the Hawks who led by six at halftime who've had the advantage throughout the second half until that first goal went the way of Harvey in the last quarter here for Strathfield. Say to put them two points to the good. Hawks back inside the forward 50. Richards is on the end of it. He comes charging out of full forward and pulls in the mark. Right forward pocket. And Darcy Richards will shoot for his first of the game from 35 out. 
Yes, uh, good work by Richards then. He uh, lost his uh, defender and was able to take an easy chest mark from that long kick in uh, from the half forward flank. Pardon me, Richards did kick one in that third term. So this for number two for Darcy Richards. And a hand, Eagle Hawk back the lead. Tough kick from the right forward pocket. Right foot set shot from Richards. Never looked like missing. <laughs> Darcy Richards kicks the goal for the Hawks and puts them back on top. 8-7-55, Storm 7-9-51, eight gone, final term, ripper of a contest on fresh Bendigo, thanks to score sponsor Bendigo City Framers. Yes, both sides have been able to score in this quarter from the long kick in and uh, it's the way that they've got to go because uh, the ones that have, when they're fiddling around, they're losing it midfield, they're losing it on their uh, half forward line and giving the others an easy opportunity to go forward. Simpson in the ruck, but it was Isley that won there for the two Blues. Emerging with the footy there will be Wilson. Wilson, a hurried kick, he got upended. Slews off the side of the boot. Good body work by Blanford. Blanford inside forward 50, looks for Sheen. Good defensive punch by the Borough through O'Brien. Got his fist in there at the right time. Put it over the boundary line. 49 out from goal. The Storm are attacking. They trail by four behinds. We've gone nine minutes in this final term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Good contingent of supporters watching on down there. Sun shining here at Tannery Lane. Great day for footy and it's been a great game from the stoppage. Blanford squaring kick. Shishka the target. Oh, it's spilled to Sheen. He throws it on the outside of the boot and bounces home and happens. Absolute ripper! Lightning reflexes from Abe Sheehan, who took it, jammed it on the outside of his right boot in an instant, and just like that, the Storm are back in front. Two point lead to Strathfield, say, 8 9 57, Hawks 8 7 55, three goals for Abe Sheehan, we're nine through this final term. Yes, a uh, lovely anticipation by Sheehan there. He was at the fall of the ball and, uh, as you said, Joel, got hold of it, straight onto the boot, gave the opposition no chance to smother and it bounced through. Frost back in the middle now for the Borough. Up they go, wins the tap, picks it up then. On the left, he puts an awkward looking tube inside forward 50 for the Borough. Spills to the back of the pack to the hot spot. Need to be careful here, the Storm, they don't concede. They move it, it's a rolling pack. Still contested ball. Will it emerge? Hurry kick by Radcliffe. He picked it up for the Storm. Bouncing footy towards the boundary line. If it was in the AFL, they'd say that's insufficient attempt, intent. But nothing said, nothing done here. As it's almost on the wing. Broadcast side. Two-point margin. Storm lead. Fresh Bendigo score update. Kangaroo flat by 15 points over South Bendigo. And Castlemaine by 11 over Golden Square. 7-9 to 5-10. Both in the final quarter of those games. Harvey fumbled it out of play. Did it bounce off his leg? Umpire says no. Eagle Hawk players are convinced it did. And the umpires say no, it did not. So a boundary throw in from right in front of us. Frost and Simpson. Braden Frost reaches up, knocks it down, only as far as Clossy. Ball's not coming away. And we'll have it thrown back in. John T. Neves getting set to come back onto the into the action for the Hawks. Frost got rid of Simpson illegally. Uh, Shepherd who oh no. I thought he was gonna play a Shepherd. Thought he was too there, but he said he's going to Simpson. So Sim Simpson's got it. He's right on halfway for the Storm. They lead by two points. 11 go on final term. Aggressive kick. It was inboard to Jackson Lay. They've got the numbers. He follows up his own footy. Good, strong pass and lead. It was a clunk. The Storm by Big Malik Gordon, who's been super this afternoon. Come out like a steam train has taken a mark. And he's cramping Norm. He's done a lot of work today, so uh, it's uh, quite feasible that he will be uh, feeling a bit stiff that, in the legs. That footy is lucky it's got any air left. He grabbed it so hard. He needs to kick this for the Storm. He's directly in front. Right on 50, you'll kick it from. The man on the mark is stand, standing at about 35, in fact, so he's, it's a fair run-up, so the distance won't be a problem here. Gordon for the Storm to extend the lead. It's long, it fades, minor score. They didn't like it off the boot. Three-point margin now. 11 and a half gone. Final term, local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. So now it becomes who takes the opportunities presented. Who's good enough to stand up, seize the moment? Holmes in from fullback. 
Handball to Langford after he danced himself into some trouble. Langford drives it down the line. Richards and Frost both there. Out the back, Ronchieri onto it for the Hawks. Handball back to O'Shaughnessy. Can he peep it in? He cannot. Ball is over the line, out of play. It'll be tossed back in. Alakum is in a little bit of trouble down in front of us. It's a cramp. Yep. And so it's a, it's a tired old Hawks team coming off, of course, round one against Golden Square, then the week off, then they get confronted with the wide expanses here at Tannery Lane. Ball tossed back into play. Simpson worked himself to front spot. Frost is there for the Hawks, trying to rip it clear. Rouse, tackled by Geary. Ball up, centre wing, out of side, storm by three. Twelve and a half gone here in the final quarter on Fresh Bendigo. It's going to be important, uh, the accuracy in these final minutes of this last term. Good, strong tackling. The Storm. Sue did well on Frost. Causes a stoppage. Outer side wing. Storm by three points. Still plenty of time. Frost wins it there for the two Blues. They'll emerge now. It'll be a long kick to half forward. They'll set themselves. Richard's too strong. He was out of position and he's taken a good, strong mark. He's too far from home. Now he goes long. He goes high. It's into the pocket. Isley the target. Front and centre. O'Shaughnessy. They'll share it around. Isley received a handball. Put it goalward and missed. In fact, missed everything. And it's nothing on the scoreboard. Unchanged. Three-point margin. 13 and a half gone. Final turn. Fresh Bendigo score update. Kangaroo flat lead south by 21 points. Yes. Yeah, 13-11 to 11-2. It has absolutely dried up for the Bloods and the Roos are bounding away with that game at Dow Park. Storm coming out of half-back here. King out wide to Gill. He's provided plenty of run all day. Two bounces, now three. Pops it over the top to the run of King. Back to Gill. The Dick captain goes inside the forward 50 and finds Blanford. Blanford centres it up to Shishka. And Shishka's marked at 35 out directly in front. What about the dash from Lockie Gill down the outer side? Yes, great run by Gill then. He was well supported by two teammates running with him to uh, keep all legal opponent, opponents away. And now it is James Shishka who's got the shot. Storm by three points before the kick. Biggest lead for either side of the game so far is eight. Shishka to make it nine misses. Minor score. 8-11 plays 8-7. 14 and a half played final term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Score sponsor JB Restumping. Could be a costly miss in the end, couldn't it? They just need to convert, capitalise. Langford plays on for the Borough. Sends it wide from full back. Off hands. Tracks towards the boundary line. The Storm will keep it in here. No, they won't. Tracking against the boundary line was Featherby. Gave the umpire a little bit of a serve, the uh, boundary. Said no, that was in, and the boundary said no, it wasn't. Give it to me. Inside forward 50 now, again the storm. Outer side, Isling in the ruck. Got two hands on it. Falls to the bottom of the pack. Lester tries to burst through and can't. Good strong tackling, Burrow. Bottom of the pack. The player was very good there, Thompson. As the umpire will throw it up again. Up they go in the ruck again. Isley still doing the ruck work. Ground level. It's going to be another stoppage. Inside forward 50 for the Storm. They lead by four points. Approaching 16 minutes la last term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. So up they go. Storm inside the forward 50 as Johnny said. Pushed past it was Gill. Stood up in the tackle. Got boot to ball. Will come back the other way. Thumping it out of there was O'Brien. Kick finds a teammate in McGregor. Just inside the defensive 50 for the Hawks. Out of sight of the ground. 8-11 to 8-7. 16 gone final turn. There's some urgency about things now for Eagle Hawk. Sam Thompson kicks up the line. Holmes playing ahead of the footy now. Going down there was Jones. Ronchieri has a play at it. Bustling his way through was Bennett. Lays a good tackle. And a ball up. Centre wing out of sight. Four point lead to the Storm. 16 and a half gone. Final term here at Tannery Lane. There's some tired players out there on the outer side. They're fumbling. No clean position. Hurried kick out of the pack by McGregor of the Borough. Sends it forward. Looks for Neves. Spills to the front of the pack. Swooping on the footy would be Ronchieri. And steps over the line. 
and 70 out from Eagle Hawks. Goal will have a ball in. Interesting that Evans is playing out of full forward at the moment. I sort of think you'd love to have him around the ball. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's interesting that uh, he's got that uh, pivotal point up forward. The Storm by four points. Grabbed out of the air by Holmes doing the ruck work. Inside forward 50. Isley set himself. Fell to the back of the pack. Clear and kick by Featherby of the Storm. Straight up and down the mine shaft to half back. Clayton Holmes has a play at it. Comes out the back to Riley Wilson. One go then two. Couldn't take clean possession either time. O'Brien burrows himself. In fact, it's McGregor. Might have dived upon it. Umpire said no. Crosses the arms and we will have a ball up. Storm 8-11, Hawks 8-7, free kick here, and it's going the way of McGregor, who was put down. So a bit of frustration creeping in. And Blake McGregor's got the footy. He's 70 from home. He'll dump it inside the forward 50 and see who can catch it. And Cooper Jones bashes it out of play with a clenched fist to force a boundary throw. In right forward pocket, Hawks into attack, trying to put themselves ahead. A trail by four, we're past 18 minutes in this final turn. We haven't had long quarters here at all for the whole of the game. They've got it in their forward zone, the Borough. They trail by four points. Umpire will throw it in. Up they go in the ruck. Holmes doing the ruck work. Hurry kick out of the pack by Neves. Didn't go the required distance. St it'll be a stoppage here. They all dive in front of the footy. It is. Umpire blows his whistle. 59 playing 55. Storm lead. Approaching 19 minutes. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Moments there for someone to seize. Who will it be that sticks their hand up? Bryce Frost. He uh, chases after the footy. Got a handball up off the bottom of the pack. Clossie's waiting for it to come out. Good tackle from Frost. Wraps up Matt Harvey, who's been excellent today for the Storm. Kicked the go-ahead goal earlier in the term. And we will have another ball up. 8-11 to 8-7. Hawks inside forward 50. It's been camped across their half forward line for the last couple of minutes. Free kick. Going to the Strathfield say Storm. Benny Lester in defence will take it. And maybe now can relieve the pressure at least momentarily. Handball to Geary. A short kick to Jones. Jones short kick forward to Harvey. Storm in possession. To Wilson. Short pass forward. Just barely going the required distance every time. Blanford spreads and leads and receives the footy. Marks it. Short pass forward again. Geez, they're working it, aren't they? James receives. True centre wing. Are they over-possessing? Jones goes backwards to go forward. They are the storm here. Jones received. Spins the ball. Then he goes long. Down the line. Blanford was the, the target. Will it turn over? Ball spills towards the boundary line. Wilson. Handball over the top. Madden getting involved. Turnover. Steps over the line. And we'll have a ball in. Out of side. True centre wing. Fresh Bendigo score update. Three quick ones to Golden Square in a matter of a couple of minutes. And it is the Dogs who lead Castle Main now. 8-12 to 7-10. So Golden Square have kicked the last three goals in the game. Ball tossed back in here at Tannery Lane. Holmes pushed Simpson out of position in the ruck contest. It's jammed inside the forward 50 by Reinheimer. Back with the flight goes Bolger. Langford slapped it straight to Blanford. Goal at his mercy and he bounces it through. Pat Blanford stands up when his team needs him to and gives Strathfield, say, a game-high 10-point lead. 9-11-65 plays 8-7-55. We're almost 20 minutes gone here in this final term. And now it's a real challenge for the Hawks to respond. Fresh Bendigo, score sponsor, JB Restumping. Yes, you'd think the Hawks need the, uh, the next goal uh, within a matter of minutes from this centre bounce to uh, remain in the contest. Another one to Strath and it's all over. Up they go in the ruck. It'll be Holmes in the ruck now for the Borough. Thompson, that's Ben, over the top to Ango. Is this their chance to get another one on the board? Mullen received. Good short pass forward. He hits up his teammate in Ron Carey. He goes long inside, deep to the line, and goes over the boundary line, and it will be a ball in hard up against the point post. Ten-point margin now. Storm lead, 22 minutes approaching. Final term, local footy looks lives at Fresh Bendigo. Three goals to one in this final term thus far. I just feel like... Storm have got a little bit more run in their legs. Ball chucked back in. Holmes rips it out of the ruck, throws it on the boot. 
It was controlled right to the line by Dole. Is it a point or is it a mark? No, it's a mark. It's a mark. So he did bring it in inside the behind line. Chips it short to Geary in the left back pocket. 9-11 to 8-7. It is the biggest lead that either side has had in the game. 10 points at the 22 minute mark of the final term. Geary drives it off half back. Nice kick. And they've got some options now. King's got it for the Storm at left half back. He pops it over the top to Marchese. And they can build this footy up the field again. It was a short pass and it was effective and he finds Jones on the outer side. In fact, it's uh, Clossy. They've got the long short, uh, sleeves on still. To Wilson. Short pass. Wilson. Back to Clossy. The old one-two. Racking up the possessions. He's been good this afternoon for the Storm. Off half back now. He'll go into the middle looking for Geary. Spills. It's okay. It went with Jackson Lay to the top of uh, the 50 now for the Storm. Do they get another chance at it? Gordon somehow ended up with it. Handballs to Shishka who ran on and will slam it through for the sealer. For his third. The Storm are home, you would think now. 10 11 71. They lead 8 5. Uh, 8 7 55. We're well into red time in the final term. Score sponsor Parsons Towing in Castlemaine. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. Yes, good persistence by Strath then. They uh, held on to the ball, especially Clossy down back. Uh, he had three uh, three goes at it, was then able to get the ball forward, get it into the centre, and uh, from there it was <coughs> Joel uh, Reinert that ran onto it and uh, made no mistake with his kick forward. and. There was no mistake at the end with Shishka running into an open goal. He's put it beyond doubt as James Shishka. 16 points the margin. And the Storm have got all the run in their legs at the moment. Jackson Lay kicks to centre half forward. Luke Marchese charging out. Pulls it in. Right, forward, right foot kick to the pocket. Harvey almost. Yeah. Worked Coomer under it. And it'll be a free kick to the... Burroughs defence. Langford knows that the, the urgency's there. If there's any chance and Frost has somehow pulled that in in front of Jones. Jones just shakes his head. Thought he had first hands on it. Left foot kick in field from uh, Frost. He's cut off by Marchese. He then left it behind. Ben Thompson gives it back to Frost. He tries a big barrel to half forward. He does and it just spills. It'll be a turnover. Hurry kick now from the Storm for half back. Wilson jumped high and up early. Marchese as well getting involved. Picked up nicely by Jackson Lay to the back door to Jones getting involved also it was Carson Jones into the middle another turnover oh Evans that was very very clever he didn't grab it it was like a fresh air handballs if that makes kind of sense Ben um, Thompson goes forward now for the borough picked up by Frost. Gives it to Mullen, short pass, and they'll get a shot at goal through Isley, who receives a mark. Injury concern here for Lockie Gill, who's gone down with a pretty sore left leg, so you hope that's only a, a stinger or a bit of a tweak, because he's an important part of the Storm team. If there are any chance, he's going to have to kick it, but I just don't think there's enough time. Isley of the Borough won't be a goal, minor score. So he just had to hurry it. 56 playing 71, Eagle Hawk trail. 25 and a half gone. Final term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. It's been another final quarter fade out from Eagle Hawk. It was an issue for them last year and it's presented itself again today. Gordon marks the kick in. Turns in field. What can he find? Looking for Shishka. Running past it was Bulger. Couple of Hawks converge. Shish it was Bulger and Thompson. Forced it loose. Curling kick around the body from O'Brien. Found Osley 60 metres from home. Jabs it inside the 50 to the chest of Neves who presents up strongly, takes the mark, 30 out, and this has to go through. No ifs, buts, or maybes here for Jonty Neves. It's almost impossible, but to make it anything like reality, Jonty Neves this to sail through the middle of the big sticks. Left foot kick from 30 metres out is a goal. And he keeps a faint fame flame flickering for Eagle Hawk. Margin is cut back. It is only nine points now. 9-8-62. Jonty Neves kicks his second of the game. So they've got a nine-point gap to make up. Can't be too long left. Fresh Bendigo. Score sponsor, Jason Westcott Builder.
Yes, we're heading for the uh, longest quarter in the game uh, this last quarter. We've gone 26 minutes. The second quarter went 27-5, so uh, not much to go in the game. Six goals kicked in this final term so far. Back into the middle. It'll be Eagle Hawk that'll win it. They'll win it through Rouse. They're screaming for a free kick. Won't get it. It'll be the Storm. They've just got to uh, run the gauntlet, don't they, now? It was a clever setup at the stoppage, really, just to open up the space goal side and have someone boosting through. It almost worked. Now, Shannon Geary, he's going to kick oh. it. Oh, long way back. He put to his teammate Jones under pressure. He had Richard looming, but Mulqueeny, they'll clear it now. Geez, that was a dangerous bit of play. That would have made things interesting. Carson Jones, short sure pass. That's okay. It's up Clossy. Clossy, geez, he's been with this afternoon. Clossy, too. I just seem to be calling him all the time. Clossy, short pass to Mole Quinney. They're in their back zone here. In fact, it's gone off hand. He didn't mark it. It's going to be a ball in. 71 playing 62. Storm lead. 28 minutes of ticked over here in this final term. Local footy lives at Fresh Bendigo. It's 2-1 and one when these two sides met last year. Eaglehawk won both in the regular season. The Storm beat them in the finals. And it's the Storm by nine points here. 28 gone final term. Geary off halfback. Sends it to the middle of the ground. Madden takes the mark, juggling it. And again, they just need to fire it forward here, the Hawks. Pokes it forward to Evans. Evan goes in, Evans goes inside the forward 50. Neves comes crashing out. Clatters through a couple of bodies. Rolls is there to push his opponent off the football. Handball back to Ben Thompson. He's dragged down. Spills to Ratcliffe for the Storm. Outlets to half back to King. And that nine-point margin, 28 and 29 minutes gone now in this final term. King finds Wilson, centre of the outer side. In front of the scoreboard, and he continue, continue to take the air out of the footy. Goes 30 to go back to King. King now short pass forward. Ratcliffe receives at the Fre storm. Fresh score update. It is a seven-point game down at Camp Reserve. Golden Square leading, but there's still five minutes remaining in that one, so I'll keep you across it. Ratcliffe, short car, uh, pass forward to Wilson. As the siren goes... And the Storm, a good, strong, fought-out win by the Storm here out at Tannery Lane at home. They win 10-11-71 to Eaglehawk, the Borough, 9-8-62. They come from behind in that final quarter to the Stratfield, say, Storm. And they ran out that game really strongly. The Borough led by six at half-time, by five at three-quarter time. The margin didn't get above eight points for the first three-quarters of the game. And Strathfield say end up winning by nine points. The Hawks kicking the last of the game. But it was not enough. And that was a really assured performance in the end in that final quarter from the Strathfield say Storm. Made to work. And what was a terrific game of footy. Ends in a great finish. And a Strathfield say win. And the Storm will go to three and zero on this young BFNL season. And after this round of footy, they will sit atop the table, having defeated Eagle Hawk today. Goal kickers for the Storm, Abe Sheen kicked three, James Shishka kicked three, two to Malik Gordon, one to Matt Harvey, one to Patrick Blanford. Blanford's goal, a critical one in that final term. And for the Hawks, two to Darcy Richards, two to Joel Mullen, two to Bailey Isley, and a couple to Jonty Neves as well, including the final goal of the game. And one goal to Sam O'Shaughnessy for Eagle Hawks. So not a massive spread of goal kickers between the two teams. Just the nine in total. But a great game of footy. And a deserved win for Strathfield, say Norm Jenkins. It was a great win for Strathfield, say. And uh, the second time this year on their home deck that they've uh, they've run a game out and uh, ground their opposition into the, uh, into the turf. They did it uh, in round one against South Bendigo where they ran home in the last quarter and... Uh, and put the game beyond doubt. They've done it uh, again today against Eagle Hawk in what, for me, was a very entertaining game of football. It was fast flowing. Uh, both sides uh, had different ways of playing the game. Eagle Hawk at times uh, tried to use the Strath way of playing, but uh, their entries into the forward 50 uh, weren't the best that they could have been. And in the end, it was Strath who changed their uh, entry into forward 50 to a long kick that uh, came out on top. 